all done. Hey everyone, I'm Calvin. I'm Derek. I'm Nick. I'm the hey. only I'm the only one in the Space Money Octagon Studios right now. It's very lonely. It's very quiet. But luckily, D Derek, where are you at? How come you ain't here in the room next to me where I could touch you and feel you? I'm on vacation in beautiful Seattle. I'm just chilling. I was almost going to maybe host this uh, stream by myself with my friend Ian, who I'm staying with right now. But then I was kind of, I'm kind of sleepy. And I didn't want to do that. So I said, I'll just, I'll, I'll bring the microphone, I'll bring my laptop, and I'll just, I'll support my buddy Calvin. But I'll be, I'll be thousands of miles away. And Nick, what are you doing? Where are you at? Um, Undisclosed I'm, parts unknown? Undisclosed, not, undisclosed location? Yeah, I, I legally can't disclose that information. <laughs> so many secrets. Uh, Star, Trek, not, Star Trek V, the undiscovered country. <laughs> Yep, it's me. No, I'm in, I'm in California, where I live. Uh, so, as for what we're playing today, I just decided to just download a bunch of indie games. Um, if I'm not mistaken, all of these are uh, free to download off of itch.io, which is a very nice game distribution platform uh, for indie games. You can get all these for free, or you can pay money for them if you want. And, and we're just going to go down this list I got, this list of games that you see on your screen right now. Hit them with the list, man. I, all right, I'm going to read them out in case you can't read them. I got 776-778-780. Curtain. Dust City. Fooths. I Contemplated the Son of Limbo. Mall Quest. S. Uh, the, the Duneki. <laughs> Tripgate. Close. Valhalla. Hamo. And Rogue Light. So let's just start at the top. And already we see that 776, 778, and 780, th there's three games here. Three different folders, three different games. Let's start with 776. Let me make sure. Oh, hold on. It's not coming up. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. Oh, man. Hey, we're, you know, we're going to keep it super casual. We don't, we don't know what's going on, but we're going to have fun and chill out. It's, I mean, I, obvi it's Monday nights. I obviously don't know what's going on because yeah. the game's not coming up. Uh-oh. Come on, why are you doing this to me? Uh, I'm Derek? Sorry. You, 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 know, you know what you did, Calvin. You did know what? you deserve this. Uh, let's try something else and see if we can come back to this and it will work better because I had this problem before. Uh -huh. And people in, the, people in the chat. There we go. Now we got a ask, game. They're asking about sassy robots, and I'm, I'm just saying we can only hope we get some sassy robots. All right, this is Curtain. Um, I'm going to give a quick warning. Uh, from what I read, this game has a non-explicit um, depiction of abuse. Uh, so if that's a thing that uh, might affect you, then uh, go ahead and, and log off. Do what's best for you. Yeah, I was trying to have a good time. We don't want to bring anybody. Yeah. Down. All right, and this game already looks super rad. Like, I love this. It's kind of similar to how um, Hyde looked, which is another kind of indie first-person game with the super pixelated thing, but blown up. Yeah, I don't know what I'm looking at here. And also, uh, Calvin's right there. He's in the Octagon offices proper. I uh, am watching it all with you at home with the delay, so yeah. this will be interesting. Well, let me read what just came up on my screen. We played an encore, an encore, that thing where they actually cheer for us to come back on stage, and we did. We didn't even have any other songs. They loved us tonight. Derek, someday we'll know what an encore is like. Yeah, one day. Oh, man, I'm walking so slow. But I found a bike. You notice a bike lying against the wall. It looks pretty dirty. It looks like it's part of the background. This bike kind of looks like a properly rendered... Uh, I'm sorry, I interrupted you. Yep. Sorry, go this it. bike hasn't been moved once since we moved in. Not us. We'll never get stuck anywhere. Remember that Medal of Honor game, Calvin? Was yeah. The game for the <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God, you're right. This kind of looks like that, but like... Like rendered like very specific yeah it's intentionally terrible which i've always yeah. I, i'm really happy that's kind of where indie games have kind of moved to so yeah, absolutely so it seems like this game has two kinds of narration it has the white block at the top which is kind of the god the, the third person narration and then the blue block at the bottom which is first person narration so this is your apartment block you let casey use her key she doesn't trust you with one yet this place isn't so bad. The band, are all, the band are all together now. I bet they'll have a plaque dedicated to us here or something someday. Paying real rent on time still kind of feels novel. Oh, yeah, he will ask this game on Oculus Rift. Who, 
I don't think anyone needs that headache. Yeah. Uh, we have no idea what's going on in these rooms. They have no idea about us, about the history that's happening two doors down. I met an old lady on the landing yesterday, and she stared at me. Like, what are you? Your worst nightmare, honey. What's I don't, going on two this, doors down? This guy's a jerk. All right, I guess two doors down is my door. There were so many people squeezed into the club. I recognized maybe only a couple dozen. There were hundreds, and they knew all of us. Casey's party, trashy femme, trash punk. <laughs> all right, I guess I'm not in two. Am I in this one? Oh, um, I meant to ask. Do you know who made this game? I do not. Unfortunately, I don't have notes for all these. But I do know it's okay. on Curtain. If you don't search for Curtain on itch.io, you should find it. Here, I'll throw a link in the chat. Give them yeah, links. What, what is itch.io? I'm not really familiar with it. Uh, Nick, you, you were throwing down some, uh, some uh, knowledge in the, in the chat. It seems like it's basically oh. Bandcamp for games. Yeah. Um, it's a really, really cool platform oh. for indies to host their games, which is really cool, too, because, like, me, for example, I was struggling with a place to put my games because, you know, I, I make games that I just kind of want to throw out for free for people to have, but I also don't have a place to host them. So what with the rise of itch.io, um, it's, it's, been, it's been really cool to see people have a place for their games. We got those tunes coming in. Curtain, apartment 13, Casey Hudson, Allie Harrison, and Kay Green. Our apartment, after you. You're so, you're so hot, Allie, damn, especially when you pout. Hey, hey, let me kiss. You know you like it. Uh-oh. We're in this rockin' apartment with this rockin' music. I'm gonna turn down a little bit. Can you believe we're living together, our place? When I first saw you, I mean, when I first saw you at the support group, I knew we'd end up together. I wanted you so bad. I get what I want. So gra oh. go grab us two beers and let's celebrate. I don't, I don't like where this yeah, is going. Yeah, I don't like that. It doesn't seem like this is a, uh, having a fun time. Where's the fridge? This looks like a fridge. No, these are moving boxes. You need, you do need to unpack this junk already, you know. This is probably more stupid books and comics, right? Where are you going to put them all? Is this a drawing tablet? What? I thought you were going to give that crap up. Man. I don't like that. Sounds For some reason, I expected this game. Maybe it's just because of the, the aesthetic. I expected it to be a very, like, like to be set in a different era than currently. But what, with the mention of the drawing tablet, I guess yeah. it's more modern. One of those free local newspapers sits on table. It's open on a gig review. Glasgow native's Casey's Party played a not unexpectedly lackluster set of turgid power punk last night. Most <laughs> insufferable was the singer's pleas between every song I note to destroy the choke, the quote, capitalist chokehold. She might actually believe this will happen through the fever jumping of, pu pre of pubescent girls. Screw him. I sat in the pissing rain with that dude, and this is the crap we get. Whatever. He stunk and dressed like a shithead, too. At least they're writing about us now. They ha they have to. You're damn sure the audience was jumping. We're going to be jumping on his throat next. Everyone tells us we're worthless. Society, our families, ourselves. This is why I make music. I create my art for the ignored. The scum of the earth like, like us. All of us only have each other. None of us cares about you or me, Ali. It's just us. Let's have some more beer. There's some beers on the table. There's always beers on the table. <laughs> uh oh Cheers, this is for you. Loosen up a little. Let's enjoy ourselves. Enjoy everything. You wrote that. You wrote the song that got us here. People dig it. I wish I wrote something half as good. It's cool, though. I sing, so I usually get the credit anyway. Love you, babe. You look out the window. You're five floors up and can see the lines of tra traffic moving through Glasgow. We can see the city from here. This apartment didn't exist ten years ago. We didn't really either. It looks like any city. We can pretend we are where wherever we want. We can pretend we are whoever we want. Keep it up, and it's true. You open your email. Hey, Ali, it's Samantha. I'm happy I caught you at the gig. You killed it. Look, there's no hard feelings between us. Don't worry about it. Just be careful. You know myself and Casey have a history. I know her act. So, so that's all I meant to say earlier. Be careful. Remember, she is not the victim. Hey, what are you doing at the computer? Let's have a good time already. You can be such a drag. You spend too much time on that junk. Those people you talk to are weirdos. They're enabling. Oh, you said I could have your password to tweet stuff, remember? It might be a good idea to get your email, too. You know, I just want us to be open about everything together. You don't have to worry that there's anything between us. Mm. This, and this, this narrative is really kind of confusing. Are you, like, I, I don't know if I'm calling events? Yeah, that kind of seems like it. You look at the handmade CD, Casey's Party, Screaming, Dreaming. Our, our original demo. When we started these songs, we had nowhere to live. I was arguing with everyone I met all day, and I cried about Samantha. When we finished, it still had nowhere to live, and I still cried. But hey, now we had some songs. Hmm. Oh, so let's go look at this. Let's go watch, watch, watch some TV. It's on the tube. It's on the tube. The TV screen is blinking noiselessly in the background. The ads are playing. 
Hey, hey, our ad is on TV again. Yeah, this is what all what we all needed. This was our break. Visit Scotland and hear some killer music, right? It works for me. Turn it up. What's this, what's this thing? A speckled brown and black cur is in the corner. Toast. That's a, gr- that's a great cat name. Toast. They get pretty big in 12 months. You said you wanted a cat before you signed the record deal. Well, you got your damn cat. A lazy lump like you. She's going to have to go when we tour. You know that, right? There's no chance she's coming with us. Uh, I don't like that either. Can't get rid of the cat. There's a note from James. Hey, girls, everything is ready for the home gig, so I hope you're excited. It's going to be great. I'll give you a call at the weekend when, you, when you've recovered. We'll call, talk about the tour and the album and everything else. This ad is really making an impact. Everyone wants to get in touch with you. I couldn't get him to return my calls a month ago, and now he suddenly has all the time in the world for us. What a dipshit. He could at least show up for our gigs. All right, I think that's everything. Oh, no, there's more stuff in the living room. What's this? There's a voicemail message. Beep. Hi, Allie. It's your mother. I just want to talk. Whatever you want to do, that's your choice. Let us support you. Oh, my God. Delete that. You're not really going to get in touch with them, are you? It's no surprise she wants to talk now that we're going to be famous. Hmm. You look at the calendar, it's April 2013. There's a picture of a blonde haired woman tapping an electric guitar and smiling. You drew fat red circle around today, the 15th. There's also a small note and pen, catch up with Rebecca. Women and guitars, is there anything better? Maybe being a woman with a guitar? Yeah, that. You have to circle a couple months of dates on your silly calendar soon, you know. James thinks we could do Europe. All right, Let's see what else is in this house. What's up, Samantha? Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I got angry. I don't wanna talk about it, it's fine. I don't wanna think about her. She screwed with me. Whatever she says, she hurt me. She is just the latest person who says I shouldn't exist. You can't trust her. Trust me. You feel weird about entering Kay's room. You know the band is really us too, right? Kay stepped in when Alex wasn't working out. He's just the latest drummer. It's kind of strange to be in his room, actually. I wonder if he keeps good shit in here. We went to school together. Back then, he spent all day getting high, too. All right, let's, guys, let's steal weed. Steal some weed. Don't, don't do it, man. You look at Kay's journal. It's just like the old band. Casey is mad sometimes. The songs are good, though. It's worth it all. Since the TV ad, everything has been a lot easier. Everyone wants a piece of me now. Sebastian totally digs me. He says he'll be at the gig tomorrow. I hope so. I also want a piece. Hold on, my phone's ringing. Nope. Ain't answering that. All right. Are you? Are you reading his diary? Is there anything good? I always thought he had Sam's back after the band split. We didn't talk for a year. I guess he just sticks with the talent. Here's a book. You look at a cutting from the Scottish music mag Grubs. You see a photo of a band playing inside a dark club, and the caption reads KSK. Grubs. Why does he even have this? The old band? Screw Samantha. Here, give it to me. I'm going to destroy it. It didn't work out because she couldn't handle me. She couldn't handle the best. Look, I don't need to defend anything I did, or that I did, or that I do. She was unstable. She had problems. I don't like whoever's down. whoever's talking down in the blue blue square. Casey's room and your room. You're still happy to have moved away from home, but sometimes you're uncomfortable that everything in your life revolves around Casey and the band. I've been been waiting for this all night. Every minute since we left our screaming fans. You look so good. Yeah, come on. Casey's well-worn guitar. She takes it everywhere. She always talks about how she once fended off a group of men with it. You're not sure that ever happened. I just want to write one song that people will remember. Or two. Yeah, two. But this guitar and you. That's the only time I feel normal. Tomorrow we're going to finish that song about your brother. He ran off immediately when I confronted him at the show. What a dweeb. Is that the second time we've used the, the term dweeb? Is that like a, a an Irish thing? A Scottish thing? <laughs> is, that, is that a thing Irish people say? Yeah. I'm Ugh. sorry, I'm an ignorant American and I forget which one it was. <laughs> Your daily injections. You don't have to jump through many hoops for these. Once diagnosed, your neurologist was throwing them at you. You haven't noticed any direct improvement after three years, but you haven't got significantly worse either, so you keep taking them. It kills the mood every night to see you shoot up. You're always so tired all the time. Screw it. It's all in your head. You just need to pull yourself together. Hey, audience, don't trust anyone who tells you to stop taking medication of any kind. Yeah. Hey, kids. Casey's dreams. She shares them... She's, she shares these all the time when you're stuck for lyrics. They're pretty terrible. You read the first scribbly paragraph. The flood waters rushed through the double door and we screamed as we shot bullets into the air. My dream dra- diary. You can read it if you want. The stupid psych told me to keep a diary of positive things. These are my positive things. Sleeping is when I'm happy. That's when I'm safe. When the scars heal. Oh, all right. Man. So I'm thinking now white box at the top is us and blue box at the bottom is Casey. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've already clicked on the guitar, and it feels like that you're recounting events that have happened. Like, yeah, it, as though you are somehow in this person's mind, going mm-hmm. through 
the the like whatever this is leading to yeah. which I, I i from looking at the chat i get the feeling that we're all kind of on the same level of, of what this game is kind of moving towards all right there's a message on your phone the gig was great you guys rocked look forward to seeing you tomorrow love bex hey put that thing away look at me that all right you look at the records julie ruin julie ruin uh all right these yeah there's a list of uh list of songs maybe oh no my record collection well mine and a bunch of other people it's easy to mistake good music for maturity people who like good music usually don't take the time to become good people all right one last room oh this is it this is the bathroom the few times you're alone Allie, you look fine come on let's do this oh all right i can't go i, I guess i can't go in the bathroom Oh, do I gotta click on the bed? Your, oh, that's... your bed is a mess. You're tired and you only want to curl up and sleep. You feel a little drunk. Casey grabs your arm. Hey, don't go anywhere. We're right here. Let's do this already. Don't fight. Oh, fade to black. Uh, all right. All right. Fade it to black. I'm waiting for the delay here. You look at the picture, there's two teenage boys and two parents on a water raft. The mother is screaming in terror. I don't understand why you have that. They didn't want anything to do with you. They refused to even look at you when you needed them. You need to get rid of everything and move on already. It's the morning after the gig. You feel sick. You can't believe she forced that last night. You just want to wash yourself clean. Hey, Allie. Allie, where'd you go? <clears throat> there was never anything to see in the mirror. You don't like looking at yourself, so you're glad Casey smashed it. Oh hey, I'll get that mirror fixed, I swear. So do you feel so do you feel how you look? How are we this morning, Shirley McLean? Hey chill, don't be like that. Uh, it's, it's a turlet. You open the shower doors. You can't get away you can get away from it all here, at least for a little while. You wanna forget that you're alone anywhere. Hey, what's up? Why do you have to act so snotty all the time? Jeez. Oh, and then the bathroom leads down a hallway. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't want to make you uncomfortable. You should have said something. I mean, really say something. I was just playing. You enjoyed it, though, clearly. Or at least some part you did. You decide you've taken long enough. There's not much hot water left. Time to get out. Hey, are you there? Where have you been? I've been ringing all evening. You get back, and you just get into the shower. Hey, answer me. I know you're in there. You're not... You, you've not been the same for months, months now. What's the big deal? The mirror is still broken. Um, oh, jeez. You know Casey's on the other side. You've been avoiding this for weeks, but you have to say something. What? Quit? You want to quit? Are you joking? You can't quit. I don't even know what to say. How to put it into words. Everything rests on you. I rest on you. What will you do? You don't know what you're saying. Cut the crap. It's only been a few weeks since you found Casey here. Afterwards, she cried and she didn't think you'd be home that night. You don't, you didn't, you don't think about what would happen if you came back even an hour later. You love her, but she scares you. You wanted her to get help, but she refused. You know I'll do it again, don't you? It's inevitable without you. I'm hurt by everyone. I'm broken. How could I ever do any of the shit people say when I've had it done to me? I'm survived. I survived. I don't care what people say. I love you. I need you. Oh, oh. It's Casey's court date. Sam's not taking the attack lying down. You're not sure if the band will ever recover from the publicity. You're not sure if you care. Oh, damn. I, I think I blinked and mi missed the event here. Oh, no. But that nuts. It's yeah. all good. I'm, Look, I'm kind I know. of glad we glossed over that. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I know I haven't been myself. I've been cold and angry and obsessed and distant and a hundred conflicting things at once. Everything that's happening isn't helping me. I can get better. I need to do it with you. I want to be nothing. I want to be nothing without you. Hmm. Casey's guitar is still there, though she doesn't seem to use it much anymore. This album is going nowhere because you won't write any damn half-decent songs. Every other band in Scotland is better at writing Casey's party songs than we are. We were first. We made that sound. We deserve our goddamn place. The Princess Scream posts are still up, even after they stopped referring to Casey's emails. They meant a lot to her. When we first went out together, when we sat by the lake and I thought we'd never stop talking, the same night we were beaten up and left bleeding, you cried for hours and told me you'd always love me, that nothing could stop that. What happened, Dolly? Do 
You want to curl up and die, in bed preferably. You briefly wonder if you can sleep everything off. Sleep forever. You reach this stage a lot, but things don't really change. You don't know what, what change would look like. Just stay away. I don't want to see you. Sleep in Kay's room. I'm not going to do some. I'm going to do something stupid if we talk more. I don't want to. Stop this. Just give me space. Stop. I'll talk to you in the morning. All right. Let's go in this room. When Kay left, you and Casey had a new purpose, and it seemed like you were getting somewhere. That lasted a month. You were just papering over the cracks. First Kay, and now you. I can't believe you're doing this to me. Kay was a loser, and we were better off without him. He, could ha he couldn't hack the band. You can. You're tougher than this. Come on, pull yourself together. Your art stuff. You hide it in here. You don't know what you would do, want to do after all this, but some drawing would be nice. If you want to reach people, you, need, you want to be a rock star. No one cares about stupid comics, let alone your stupid comics. Playing music is the only thing you're half good at. These stories of, of yours are garbage. Alright. Dishes are piled up in the sink. It's disgusting. It's been like this for weeks. The two of you have reached a stalemate. The dishes are fine. Clean them yourself if you really care. But no, then you couldn't complain then. That's all you really want to do. Tear shit down. What are you going to contribute? What are the solutions? What about some new goddamn songs? That would be helpful. This kid is getting rough. You don't know who else to call, so you call Rebecca. Allie? Well, it's been a while. I haven't spoken to you in nearly a year. I can't believe you want to get in touch now. After everything. I hope the band is going well, though. Actually, I'm sorry I'm a bit busy right now. Can I call you back some other time? I hope you haven't been talking to Rebecca or anyone. Screw Rebecca. Screw everyone. Don't listen to them. This is a normal relationship. This is what relationships are like. You have to take the good moments with the bad. You watch the traffic move. You don't know who's in those cars, and they don't know you. You're really serious about leaving. I'm just speechless. I feel like you're twisting the knife through me. We came so far together. This was it. All my hopes. They're nothing now. Nothing. What a shithole out there. We can start again. Let's move somewhere new. Somewhere that we're all... That will be surrounded by all kinds of bands and people. All kinds of possibilities. Don't do this. You can't. Oh. No, no, no. Half-finished beer cans litter the entire apartment. I will hit you with this. Seriously, just try me. One more word. Go on. I don't want to hear any of this. Don't you dare throw that. Don't you dare. I didn't do this. You brought it on yourself. You can clean up this mess. All right. I'm leaving. That seems like the best thing. Yeah. The door is locked. You're not sure wh where you would go. Most days, you just go stand at the bus stops waiting for nothing. There's not even, even any buses this late. You've got nowhere to go, Allie. Your family abandoned you, and I took you in. I showed you everything. I made you somebody. With me, you're a fucking rock star. Without me, you're a nobody. And no one wants that. When was the last time you talked to someone else? Oh, man. Toast is getting fat and seems pretty slow these days. She's still pretty good at jumping into your lap and making you feel okay, though. Look at your stupid cat. We were fighting over Toast only a couple weeks ago. I screwed up, but did a couple of nights kill her? No. See, we have fights all the time. This is normal. Like last weekend, and we made up. Just ignore it. It happens, and life continues. That's how it works. Come on. You don't see the TV ad so much anymore. Casey still talks about it, though. I hate that damn ad now. We have better songs. No one ever listens to them. Why couldn't you ever write something better? It's a letter from James. We told you after the tour was suspended that any more trouble and we'll be looking to drop the band entirely. This is it. We need to meet. Call, in, call into the office this Tuesday. We've given you more than enough time to produce something. I can't believe you yesterday. Don't you say that kind of stuff in front of the label. Of course I'm still angry. You've jeopardized our future with your stupid remarks. All right, can I still not go out the front door? Oh, let's check the phone. Pick up the receiver to dial home, but you can't. You haven't spoken in years, and you have no idea what their response would be. I can't believe you yesterday. Oh, oh it's the same thing at the bottom. All right. All right, still can't go out the door. I I'm going to echo what a lot of people in the chat are saying, and whew, man, yeah. this is, this is whew. going. This is really going. Yep. Uh, can I go back through the shower? Let me try that. Morning, Sweet Pea. Good shower? Today, let's write some music. What? Rebecca? No, you can't go. We're a songwriting duo. That means two people. Look, I have to go out this afternoon evening to pick Kay up, so we're doing it this afternoon. 
this all. All right, can't click on any of this stuff now. Oh, you call Rebecca to let her know. Ali, oh, you can't make it. That's too bad. Thanks for letting me know. Casey is controlling. You need to talk to someone. There's people, people you can ring, right? If you ever need someone to crash somewhere safe, you're always welcome at mine. I really don't want you hanging out with Rebecca anymore. I think she wants to break us apart. I don't like her. I'm out of here. I'm leaving. Are you sure that's what you're supposed to do? I, I, well, I can't. Door's not working. You think might you think you might actually do it? You call home. Someone picks up. Allie, is that you? Did you get my message? We just wanted to talk sometime. Ready to accept whatever you want. We've just been worried for you. James was sorry for shouting at you. Your father will come around sometime. You just need to reach out. Are you using the phone? Come on, we need to practice. We have to. She wants to practice. I have to interact with the guitar. No. Nope. Oh, you get the. You look at the poster of Princess Scream. Remember when we saw them? That's when I first kissed you. Believe in the power of our songs. Believe in the power of girls. You're wearing the cutest black lipstick. You look nicer with short hair. So can't go out the door. Uh, someone in the chat was talking about a blue apartment. And then maybe a pink one. This one's kind of pinkish. Uh, I think there's nothing else to do, but I guess go back through the shower. Magical showers. Magical shower. It gets a different color now, which would indicate progress. Different music. Why don't you ring someone? Cry to someone else. All oh, right, it's just me. I'm the only one who will listen to you. All the phones are gone. Nope, nope, here's a phone. You've been talking to your mother more and more over the last year. Even if you don't see them, even if your dad won't see you, it's been nice to confide in someone. You call home. Allie, sweetheart, what's wrong? Stop, I don't care what you say, that's not healthy. She's not good, you're getting out of there, you're not responsible for her. I'll talk to your dad, we'll work something out. Oh, fade to black. Panel one, third floor exterior of apartment, night. Two characters are framed against the apartment's large window. Sarah, I can't take it, we're over. To hell with the company, to hell with all of it. Oh, there's my cat. There's a laptop. There's a message on your laptop. Allie, I missed you last night, what happened? It was fun. Lots of cute boys and girls, text me. We need to do something. Jack said Casey was asking for you. He told her to, he told her to go to hell, love you. Slow door opening. So I appear to be in a different residence oh, now. Yeah, now we're getting confirmation that this is the blue apartment. Oh yeah. Oh. Woo. That's a pretty rad end. So yeah, that's curtain. Uh, I assume Nick dropped a link to that in the chat. Uh, yeah, I'll do it one last time. <clears throat> there you go. That game is pretty interesting. I like it. Yeah. There was a lot that w I wasn't ready for the amount of story that was going on yeah. there. Yeah. I think there probably could have been a more efficient way of, of um, getting that story out there. But it was still really cool. 
And that, that was en- interesting, yeah. And that ending was pretty rad. I don't know if it communicated well, but as soon as I looked in the mirror, that's when I couldn't move anymore, and that's when the music kicked in. So that was pretty cool. All right. Oh, okay. There's that's, there's curtain. Whoa. All right. All right. All right. Um, uh, yeah, I feel like we need like a change of pace here. All right, let's go to Mall Quest. Okay. Hell yeah. Hey, you hey, know what's uh, not sad? Vaporwave. <laughs> hey, Calvin. Uh, yes. Ian was hoping to get in uh, in the uh, s- the Skype. Oh, is that chat. him who just uh, is it? Yep, I will add him to the call. Yeah. Oh, he's going to add you. He's got you coming. Let's turn up this vaporwave. Yeah. You, oh. There you are, Ian. Is that right Ian? Here. Yeah, that's me. We got Ian. How's it going, Ian? Welcome to Mall Quest. How to win. Internet magic that has been around a decade. <laughs> How to win. Look down at your shopping list, buy everything on it, find the exit, don't run out of cash. Find an ATM at one of the mall's corners for a quick cash boost. This mall is not responsible for money lost to slipping on trash or theft. I am already a fan of this game because I'm seeing all kinds of earthbound art. Well, let's look at my shopping list. I have two hundred NBA Jam? What? I have $289. I need to buy NBA Jam, Apollo 13, Super Mario Bros, Mall of Madness, and Doom. I can jump. I can walk. Oh, but there's a cool video. Oh, that's Lethal Weapon 3. It gives me speed plus one. Got a pogo ball for 20 bucks, a popular toy. Wait, it says Jurassic Park, but it's pictured Sonic on it. To dream of what I wish is to waste what I am. That's a very Vaporwave statement. This game is pretty sad. Derek, tell me everything you know about Vaporwave. Nah, uh, done. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, tell me everything you know about Vaporwave. Okay, so basically it's like you take some, some elevator music and you slow it down, you pitch down, and maybe add some reverb, and then maybe you could like throw some like elements of tape collages or otherwise like noise music in there if you wanted to go that far. A lot of people just take any given song, slow it down, pitch it down, and then they're done. Well, we got a Barbie doll here for twenty ninety nine, thirty 30% off. That's a great deal. Here's some trash. You just slipped on some mall trash. I left. I lost 17 bucks slipping on mall trash. Ain't it just the way it is? It was right there in the, the description of the game. Not yeah. Too, and you just went and did it. But I got Apollo 13. Oh, uh, Derek, should I buy Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. I still need NBA Jam, Mall Madness, and Doom. Well, here's Doom 2. That's, bas- so, that's basically you, Doom. That, that's are good. you bringing up your menu by just looking down? Yeah, Oculus Rift right, style. Cool. I just look down, and there's my list. That's awesome. All right, so that's that's Quero. I don't, I don't, oh, watch over that banana. I don't need other people's approval. I have the right to be treated with respect. No, you don't. <laughs> For romantics, this shop is. All right. Altered oh, Beast. Wanna, someone in the, point in the chat here, I want to point this out. Uh, from relationship abuse to Earthbound mall quests, only on Space Money Octagon. Doom, fifty bucks. So, so Derek, I think you might be like echoing back through Ian's mic because you now sound. You sound like, like you're from space. I sound powerful. He sounds twice as cool. I'm super powerful. <laughs> uh, Does see. I will invoke my witchery powers of muting my mic. <laughs> uh, they got, they got the seventh guest. I need that Actually, in- Ian, I bet you could just... Can't y'all uh, just, just get buddy-buddy? Yeah, just like talking to this mic. Uh, Actually, I'm going to mute my mic, and maybe I'm going I'm to change the uh, the settings on it so it's a little more uh, of the whole room. So all hang right. on one second. I'm, I'm just going right. to keep buying video games. I still need to get right. Mall Madness. I don't know where that get, one is. Get, all right, Calvin, you get the video games, all right? Yeah. You're on video game detail. I trust you. RC Pro-Am, 40 bucks. Missed 50 bucks. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for 36 bucks. The deals. I am capable of defining my own limits and setting my own priorities. These are just like nice self affirmations. Whoa, there's a big mall in the Arcadia. Oh, oh, clicked wrong. I'm a good person. I will rebuild my life on the foundation of my of my positive traits. Tamagotchi for 30 bucks. Oh, whoa, Sounds whoa, whoa. Like a lot of money. I just got robbed. 
Whoa. I think I just got robbed. These ninjas snuck up on me. These punks. I don't like that. Get away from me, punks. So, what? Wait. How big is this mall? I'm just gonna run to the end of the mall. What if there's a second floor? Yeah, that, that'd be smart mall design. There's a fountain. That's that's good for malls. I don't think I've ever been to a mall that didn't have a second floor. Here's a cop. I have a right to be wrong, says the cop. Calvin, how, how does this sound? Sounds good to me. Hey, Ian, why don't you give it a go to chat? Uh, test, test. Sound, there we go. Sounds beautiful. I'm going to turn you up a little bit. Yeah, yeah okay. Sorry, so, we yeah, we, we got the mic on total space area. So we're just both going to lean back a little and give us a little bit of a... Well, a here, boost. Here's a Pardon. quick. Here's a quick update. There are punks following me, trying to steal my money. Don't. Oh, is it the sharks from Own It? I don't. They're, they they're dressed like ninjas. I don't think it's the sharks. I am gonna go to the ATM. Oh, uh, those those kind of look like the sharks. And I got seventy bucks from the ATM. I still need to. F only thing I'm missing is my copy of Mall Madness. Get away from me! I just got pickpocketed for two bucks. This is this is illegal. Where's the cops when you need them? Oh, good, it's VHS World. What do we got here? <laughs> we got Star Wars: Return of the Jedi. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Batman. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. What what is, is does do I just get like knocked sky high in the air when these punks come after me? Wait a minute. Are you trying to find the game you're playing? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, it could be in the shop. Switch on the future. It is a futuristic game. Nope, these are all just old, these are old video games. Mist, Return to Zork, all your favorite. Derek, this is this is the game for you. It's all about classic video games. Yeah, people in the chat were talking about this is like a nerd's dream. I've, I've had this dream. <laughs> Where you're in a giant mall full of the most classicest video games. The other night, I had a dream that I found the Gunbuster OSD on cassette, and I woke up and I didn't have it. <laughs> on cassette? Yeah. That's a pretty good dream. Yeah. I guess in my sleep mind, I figured the only thing it possibly could have come out on would be cassette, if anything. Does the chat have any tips on finding the best game, aka Mall Madness? Control S. Control S? Or sorry, Command S. Or Command F, excuse me. Because you're on... I'm, I'm, I'm playing on a PC. Oh, okay, then yeah, Control S. Alright, I'm gonna press it. Didn't do diddly. Yeah. That's because that's the, the find command in a you, browser. You trying to take me for a ride? Derek Singh, take me for a ride. Go take you for a ride. Thank you. Right, see, you're, you're see, I went, I went to the, the Smashing Pumpkins lyric, and I was really mad at myself. <laughs> yeah, because they're a bad band. Take yeah, they're really bad. From, well, I don't know what... what do you there's, there's some... I think it's in one of, one of their songs where he's just like, Wanna go for a ride? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's bad. That's a, terrible, that's off guys. of zero, right? Sure. I listened to Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness pretty recently, and that album's the worst. I, I, I still have yet to make it onto the second disc because it's so bad. Uh, yeah, even back in the day, that was a huge, huge album for the 90s, and I, I never liked it. Guys, there is a great sign here. It's a Coos ball, and then with the toaster screensaver behind it, it's beautiful. <laughs> and I have a whole pack of punks following me now. Story of my life. I keep accidentally clicking outside the window. Man, koosh balls. Koosh. God damn, God damn koosh balls. <laughs> I just want to go into. Pretty it's like going to a koosh coma. Is that so wrong? Oh. Oh. Here's a giant statue, a giant vaporwave statue. Interacting with it does nothing. But I could go to VGA Land, Street Fighter Two. All all the hottest games. Theme Park. Remember Theme Park? Oh, I loved it. I went in line for it. Lotus Smart Suite. All the greatest. Get away from me, punks. RC Pro-Am. This is Blue Guy. Just all these people just... I, I just want to find the best game. Yeah, when you're playing it, this is it. But how do I get it? Search is over. I want Mall Madness. It's, 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 so, it's so meta. What if, what if the idea is that... That You've already found it I just, because you're playing it. I just slipped on some trash. That's the idea. Well, I mean, there's this big exit sign. Maybe I can just leave. 
In the end, video games were us. <laughs> I can't leave yet. I got one thing left to buy. I mean, that's basically what Shigesato Mitoya was talking about. Like, Mother 4 is just life. That's you. It's yeah. Like, it's you, kids. You're all grown up. I don't know, man. I think I think that's a little bit presumptuous saying that he created life. <laughs> he didn't create life, but he made life again. I mean, if you think about it, don't we all create life every day? Whoa. <laughs> I'm going to go write about this on my WordPress blog. <laughs> I'll write about this on my live man. journal. <laughs> dropping, dropping knowledge money octagon. <laughs> Philosophy. What time is it? Space money clocked gone. <laughs> I, I don't care that if you never find this last game, I feel like this is the calming space to be in. This, this amazing world is kind of is incredible. Uh, and I'm just gonna get some more money. I also like this world where you can just get seventy bucks from the ATM at any time. <laughs> oh. This is this is truly socialism. Oh, I just got burglarized for 20 bucks? You kidding me? I only have 271 bucks left. How much do you think mall quest is gonna be? I don't know. I'm just looking for it. I don't even know what kind of icon would have. Is it an NES game? Is it a Game Boy game? Is it a skateboard? All these punks, they're destroying me. Can I punch them? I punch them. I mean, I know when I play this game, I play the role of a, a pacifist protagonist. <laughs> Derek, look it up on Game Facts. How do I punch him? Uh, man. Oh, there's Pokemon Blue. I'm buying that. Just buy all the games. I think that's what that's the point. I mean, there's a lot of these that give me like stat bonuses, like jump it's, plus one and speed plus one. So it's kind of similar to like River City Ransom. Like you, you buy all of the different food in the game and it gives you kind of stamina or punch or kick boosts i mean i just got windows 95. Wait, wait you have a game list is this like a shopping list your mom sent you with I, making a video game cake i just got an outstanding deal oh what do you think a video game taste or a video game cake would taste like i mean i know derek knows what video games taste like because i i've seen him he just licks all his nes games all the time yeah they're kind of gross that's like how you make them work, right? You just gotta like cover them head to toe in your saliva. Yeah, that and fighting spirit. Mm, yeah, naturally. You gotta we gotta want the game to work. Guys, look at how fast I'm going, look at how high I'm jumping. I can I, I can jump into the fountain now. I can just Wait, live in the fountain. I maybe pissed. that's where it was this whole time. Yeah, maybe yeah, I just it was like in a ceiling or something. Maybe I just gotta like up my stats enough that I beat and therefore fully acquire Mall Madness. <laughs> also, Mall Madness, that's a very close name to Marble Madness, another very vaporwave game. That game is very vaporwave. I remember that game was hard. Derek, give me some Mall Madness strats. How do you beat uh, Mall Madness? You gotta you just gotta become the embodiment of Vaporwave. Speed plus three on that one. Damn. So I'm not I'm not terribly familiar with with Macintosh Plus's body of work, but is this the, is this game soundtrack just the floral shop? I haven't. Or, I, or is Vaporwave just that like inherently derivative? I haven't listened to a lot of Vaporwave. Some of it's really good, and the rest is. I was actually listening to Floral Shop before I jumped in this call. That album's all right. Yeah. What is is it? Just speed and jump? Are those the only two? Uh, attributes you have? That's all I've seen, and then you can get deals on some stuff, and I don't know if that does anything. And right now, I'm low on money, so I gotta run to these ATMs. Pickpocket protection plus one, I want that. I think you can clip right through all these trees. Yeah, that's, that's my it's my power jump. Speed plus three on the Spice Girl doll. Jurassic Park action figure. Jump plus... Oh, I don't have enough cash for... I don't have enough cash for Duke Nukem 3D. And the ATM is out of money. I gotta wait 91 seconds to get more money. So do you feel like you've gone all the way around this this mall a couple of times? I haven't really been paying attention to the architect or think, the architecture. I think so. And now I'm basically like a, a Counter-Strike bunny hopping character. Oh, I, 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 I game over. Against a oh, fall no. of snow, a being beautiful and very tall. 
Whistlings of death and circles of faint music make his adored body swelling and trembling like a specter rise. Black and scarlet gashes burst in the gleaming flesh. The true colors of life grow dark, shimmering and separate. In the scaffolding around the vision, shiverings muster and rise. And the furious taste of these effects is, chained, is charged with deadly whistlings and, raucous, and raucous music. The world, far behind us, hurls at our mother of beauty. She retreats. She rises up. Oh, our bones have put on new flesh for love. Oh, ash white face. Oh, tasseled hair. Oh, crystal arms. Oh, this cannot mean to destroy myself in a swirling of trees and soft air. You got roughed up pretty bad back there. Would you like to try again? <laughs> All right. That's, that's Mall Quest. That's Mall Quest. Maybe, Heck yeah. Maybe you'll beat it. Um, oh, I should drop a link to that. Let's see. How about we try Dust City? Derek, give me the baseline. Do, do, do. Yeah. Do, do, do. Dust City, bitch. Dust, dust, city, bitch. 10, 10, do, 20, 20s on your dust room. Dust, do, dust. Do, do, do. All right. Dust City. Here we are. <laughs> it's pretty dusty. There's a big wall. Oh, man. A wall of dust. Oh, this game is procedurally generated. Oh, man. Or, sorry, Mall Quest is. Oh. Excuse me. So it's a roguelike. <laughs> Not to be confused with the rogue light. Oh, I can I can run in the dust zone. So I play this a little bit before and before I ended up running into this big pit. That seems like a good idea to do again. We cut up in the pit. Let's open this pit up. Uh, Derek, uh, you were a metalhead at one point in your life, correct? How how dare you? <laughs> Did you ever enter the pit? I think everybody yeah, enters the yeah, pit. Yeah, it, it, the weird thing about Anchorage and going to any kind of show, there's always a mosh pit there. Um, and it was, it's usually like 10 to 12 people would make a mosh pit no matter what there was. And then whatever, the rest of the audience would just kind of sit around and uh, awkwardly applaud the band. <laughs> yeah. yeah like, like Anchorage will make a mosh pit at a Kenny Chesney show. Oh, yeah. That sounds incredible. Well, man, See, it's it's funny too. Like on the subject of of pits, um, there's usually like pretty consistently a pit at any given chiptune show, like uh, of any form. But there there is an aggressiveness to the sound of chiptune. Well, that, hold, I, yeah, I mean, I guess like the very DIY, like it's very inherently like hold, hold rooted on, in hold on, guys. I, yeah, I found a rune. It says oh. all the metal in the world was howling at once, like the cries of a wounded titan. Uh, I think that's it. It looks like that's actually clipping off the side of the screen. I can't quite read it. Oh, that. is it? Uh, hold on. Yeah, this part, this type of capture, does that sometimes. There we go. Uh, and it is annoying. You gotta bring it in. That's a gross-looking door. There we go. All right, that should be better. All righty. Let's go in this gross-looking door. Uh, is it... Oh. Oh. I don't... Oh. Okay. Now I'm out here. Is oh, I can't see, what, I can't see what's happening yet. All right. There we go. Okay. I'm out in a vaporwave world. Thank God. <laughs> You're a vaporwave keep girl? It, keep it going. Oh, man. In a this, vaporwave world? This pillar is spinning. Life and Vapor, it's fantastic. <laughs> oh man, there's things I can collect. What are these? These are gems. Now well, it's a video game. I'm collecting <laughs> coins, y'all. This is Sonic the Hedgehog. You know, where you collect coins. <laughs> yeah. The Blue Bomber himself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what does this one say? There was gross once and toil and tall trees and water. Uh, the bulge chewed through it Oh man, it it all and made it burst. This font is a little hard to read, but it looks cool. I'm getting more coins. Look at that big ass spinning pillar, just out out in the world. Spinning pillars and collecting coins—that's what a video game makes. Yep. Derek, name a video game that doesn't have spinning pillars or collecting coins. <laughs> 
damn, stumped, stumped again. And you're the video game that expert. Like Conker's Bad Fur Day, which had the uh, hover chocolate. Did it? Yeah. Is that? I, I think it is them straight up calling out uh, platformers of the day. Is, is <laughs> that, 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 that was like, yeah, real talk. That was sort of like rare, making fun of the genre. They helped like kind of destroy. Is hover chocolate code for for poop? I wouldn't put it past that game. <laughs> Got a secret code. All right, what does this one say? The sun has never been so red, at once beautiful and terrible. Uh, I like, I like the little bit of the writing we've seen so far in this game. I like that style of like apocalyptic. Oh no! It's very Calvin. It is very Calvin. I'm Calvin. All these coins to collect. Wait, who's Calvin? I'm Calvin. It's nice it's to me. meet. It's me, your friend Calvin. It's me, Calvin. Oh, you oh can, Calvin! You can <laughs> find me on Twitter at Hey, it's me, Calvin. I also like this coin sound. What does this thing say? Oh no. She was weeping as the lake evaporated, the soil burned, became a desert. Is this just Crypt Worlds 2? Derek, not every indie first person game is Crypt Worlds. Wait, are you sure? <laughs> are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. It, well, I mean, if you think about it, Doom was the first Crypt Worlds. I mean, it's pretty similar to The Wire. Oh, a message just came up with me doing nothing that says, What does warmth feel like? Derek, you're in Seattle, which is a little warmer than Anchorage. What does warmth feel like? It's nice. I was in this record, record store looking at records, and uh, I was looking at stuff, and I was worried that I was like, oh, man, I can't live here because I'm, like, sweating really bad in this store. And I was, like, looking down at records. I didn't want to, like, sweat on the records. And I was, I was kind of having kind of having a nervous little problem here. I, I left the store, and I was like, oh, wait, the store is just super hot. Okay, good. I, f I fell off the world. Oh, you couldn't get that string? I couldn't get that string of coins. I was hoping. But, you know, that's just a lesson. Can't always you, get, get. you can't always get what you want. But if you try sometimes, you may you just play, find... You, you play a video game. <laughs> you play a video game. And it's fun to play video games. Mm, not really. <laughs> yeah, I would say, yeah. Give, <laughs> give or take. Ian, is it fun to play video games? Uh, it's fun to research video games. Uh, no, so I'm going to go with no. It's not fun <laughs> to play video games. Just want to play video <laughs> games. I found what appears to be a goblet. It's beeping. Artifact detected. Click to decrypt. Decrypt. Artifact right decrypt. I'm decrypt. Uh, name Solos. Numerical passcode 923102. Oh, I'm spooked. 923102. Uh, 923102. I'm just going to try typing that. Wait, what was it? I forgot. 923102. <laughs> Uh, nine, two, three, one, zero, two. That didn't do shit. That didn't do shit. The game suggests you have paper and a pencil on you when you play it. I was reading its, like, description oh. on it. Oh, no. Right now, so. Well, I'm just trying to get a headshot so I can prestige. Got the Claymore shoe helicopter down. I'm just trying to get... 420 no scope. <laughs> 420 big scope, more like, because the, oh, sco yeah. the scope is... The scope is a bong. No scope. Big head mode. All smoke. Cool. Bong. I don't, I don't know what to do with these numbers now that I have them. Can you go back to the not so crisp world? Uh, there's not like a, there's not another uh, entrance. I don't know how to get back to the dust zone. Yeah. I think it might be time for a new one, Calvin. Yeah. What's this game called, by the way? Dust zone. Dust, uh, dust City. Let me, oh, dust. let me drop it in the chat again. Excuse me, Dust City. Dust. Yeah, this dust, one... Dust City, bitch. This, this one, uh, looks interesting. I'm, I'm, I might explore it more. Because it looks... Very, very distantly, this was kind of reminding me of, a uh, Goblet Grotto. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a cool game. Alright, but, so that's Dust City. Check it out. What's next? You guys played, uh, Goblet Grotto on a stream once, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, refresh me on like, that one. That sounds familiar. Space funeral and stuff. Yeah, it was it, it was when we uh, did the Catamite stream. All right, let's. Space let's, funeral was incredible. That was that was incredible. Let's game. try seven seven six now, and see how that I works. Finding out about Goblet Grotto through uh, Porpentine and uh, Terry Cavana were doing a presentation at GDC about um, free indie games. 
that they and some other devs were running. And uh, Gaba Grotto was one of these shortlisted for things people should check out. Oh, okay. All right. I'm looking at a screenshot here. I do remember that one. Uh, I, I got 776 working, and oh, here's some Fox Buddies. So if it happens, what are you going to do? I don't know. Probably head north on my speeder. All the way to Berg? No, I mean crossing the border. All the way to Milford on your bike? How do you plan on crossing the border? I'll figure it out when I get there. It's like what you... There's no such thing as getting in trouble. Do you think you'll join me if it comes to it? I don't want to think about it. Nobody does. All right. I wonder if we'll ever stop hanging out here. I hope not. It's pretty late. We should head back. Yeah. I'll race you. Oh, it's time to get on these bikes. Yeah. Woo. I'm a cool fox riding on a cool bike. <laughs> now this is a video game. <laughs> I love these foxes. Oh, I just got to the point where you guys are jet skiing around. Oh my god. This it's is like, incredible. Is, it, is this Wipeout? <laughs> is, is this the Return of the Jedi game we all wanted but never got? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like Wipeout, but with no track. So, you um, make I your noticed, own track. I noticed these foxes in a couple of games across itch.io. Um, Do you think there's but I was like, having a hard time seeing if it was like some like stock elements mm -hmm. or if it was a matter of like these games are all in like. A, a loosely jointed series. Hmm. I don't know. After this, I might make an, an itch.io account. Yeah, I'm. I'm getting pretty close to launching another game, and I think I'm gonna throw it up there. Cause uh, I, I, I made a video game. Yeah. Once people can yeah. play. Yeah. Word on the street is I'm gonna make like a deluxe edition of Stay Another Season and drop that on itch.io as well. I that's what I heard. On through in EGM. <laughs> well, yeah, Nick, you actually threw yourself a little game jam a couple months yeah, ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um I guess I'll link to that in the chat. Yeah, how was that experience? Can you uh I mean it, it, um, it was just so basically, you and yeah, sorry. Go for it. Uh, basically it was a, a game jam that I did for my um for my high school senior project, um, it was like loosely tied to my research paper in the first semester, which was just uh, about internet culture and how we can make it less the worst, which I feel has been very relevant recently, but I don't want to get into that. Um, so, so I, I, when I was kind of, I knew I wanted to do a game jam, but I didn't know what I wanted to do it for or on or like what the theme would be and so the more i thought about it the more i realized that like this is my first introduction to making games as well as hosting a game jam so why not make a game jam for people to make their first games because you know when you when you make a game i know for me in the the couple of previous attempts that i had at making a game you get very overzealous and it's hard to kind of tell yourself to start small and so as a result, um, I, I figured that it would be best to give people a very limited um, amount of time to make something. And so um, I did that, and it went really well. Um, I, let's see. I think, so Calvin, I think I beat 776 because I got to the town, and it said home at last, and then it faded to black. And now it's, awesome. not, and now it's not doing anything. So let's go on to 778. All right. Oh. Why stop now? I'm going to turn off capture mouse cursor so you don't have to look at my mouse cursor. So sad. Oh, yeah. God, get that mouse cursor off. I, it's, off of your, it's off of your television. But um, fox like mice. Oh, now this one isn't showing up. Huh, I wonder why just the one worked. I don't know. All right, I'm going to skip this one, and I'm going to say... Oh, man, loud motorcycles. Are those here or are those somewhere else? Oh, that's, that was here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Foxes. All right, I'm going to say 776-778-780. Seven, 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 <laughs> seven, seven, <eight, laughs> eight, eight, we got these foxes here in Seattle just Trouble going crazy. Yeah. I'm going to say that game's cool, but it's not capturing well, so y'all should check it out. Let's play Footh. Uh, Let's check out Fooths. Here, let me drop a link to this in the chat. What you know about Fooths? How you feel about... Going home with the food for the night? 
Oh, this game's already spooky. Let me, let me make sure it's... Yes, it is capturing. All right. I'm out here in this purple, this bluish purple. There's some rocks. I look like a big hand. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay, Calvin, now is this Crypt Worlds? Uh, no, because Crypt Worlds isn't purple. <laughs> If anything, this reminds me more of uh, a different Cicada Marionette game. I don't remember which one. I think it was the one she released after Crypt Worlds. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know which one you're talking about. I just can't remember the name. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Cicada Marionette's awesome. Go to her, go Google her and find all her games because they're all cool. Uh, let me drop a link to that in the chat. Thank, thank you, uh, Link Master Nick. <laughs> That's me. I can run, I can run super fast in this game. Almost like Sonic the Hedgehog, a.k.a. the Blue Bomber. <laughs> Derek, what do you think of the Blue Bomber, Sonic the Hedgehog? All right, when we talk about Blue Bomber, <laughs> and I think about the classic, you know, his PlayStation game, Bubsy 3D. <laughs> right. You no, know he was the best. Right. And then he got all the, all the Robo Masters. And AKA, he AKA, up at Applebee's. Yeah, a.k.a. the children of the Koopa King, a, <laughs> yeah. a Bozer. <laughs> Bowser Mario. <laughs> and he, put, he put on a cat suit. Right. Hung out with Princess Toadstool. And then he turned into a crocodile. Yeah. And he hung out with his little his little robot buddy, and then they like went on wacky adventures, and then and they the almost made game, a movie out of him like three different the times. Second game, he was like really mad and cussing a lot. What was Bubsy's problem? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that, Derek. Was, that was a really weird shift. Derek, I think I see big robots. What? I can't wait. Oh, yeah, there's like a big dude with blue glowing eyes. It looks like a robot. Yeah. Yeah. It's your big homie. Oh, people talk about virtual highlight in the chat. I, <laughs> oh, this blue thing is glowing. I don't know. I can't. It's getting loud. I collected it. Looks like a, that screen. looks like a giant Rob the Robot in the red, the red eyes back there. I, I, collected a oh, blue, yeah. I collected a blue thing. Let's see if the red robot has something for me. A red thing, maybe. Man, these are some just like big, sprawling hills. I, I see why this game lets you run so fast. Because you just need to book it. I, what I, did you say this game was called? Uh, oh, I don't know. Fruth? Yeah, Fruth. But like the title of the window now, which I would normally reference, is written in not uh, English characters. Mm. Almost looks like acrylic or something. I'm having a hard time finding it to drop in the chat. Yeah. Uh, how did you find it? I, I might just go by tags. Yeah, I was just like getting games on itch.io and then just mm. clicking stuff that looked interesting in the recommended list. All right, mm. I can't collect this red one, it looks like. That one's just going to hang out. All right. Let's keep running around. Running around at the speed of sound. Is that all you got? That's all I got. Uh, sorry, you, right. did you know the rest? Oh yeah, I, I mean, I mean, yeah. Driving like, around wanna... in a fancy car. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's how it goes. That's how we go. <laughs> There's just a lot, of, like a lot of cool big structures around here. Oh, people in the chat are are also telling the further tales of the blue bomber. <laughs> uh, they they speculate that he killed Dracula with a crowbar that he found in a lab, and then got his giant bananas back. Oh, that I mean, that definitely happened. Yeah, I think that's only in the American translation, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, they they changed they changed it in uh, in the uh, Japanese release to be uh, power pellets. Mm -hmm. And and he had to be a robot instead of a yeah like, actual like a Viet Cong fighter. Yeah, but I mean that that was just for Germany because you know they love robots over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's why they do that. But in that game, you could actually capture the ghost, uh, and it would actually kill the other Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, and then in Europe, he was uh, the the blue bomber was a hero turtle instead of a ninja turtle, mm -hmm. right? Because ninjas are illegal in Europe. Yeah, yeah, they have very strict uh, ninja policies. Yeah, no, like no ninjas allowed. Yeah. Oh man, can I get out of this deep chasm? Will I ever escape? These questions and more on Headshot City. We really need to change the name of Headshot City. I'm sick of Headshot City. Yeah, I mean, I think this is technically a stop skeleton stream, but who's, who's, who's counting? Well, uh, I think technically it's a bonus stream because you ain't here. Yep. Ooh. Wait, Take I'm that. Here. 
I'm right here. Um, well, I, but you're not here. How come you're not here, Kelvin? Because tickets are expensive. They're not. One-way tickets. Super cheap. One way? You're not coming back. I'm, I'm well, never come back. Derek, you gotta come back. Eh. You can have all the my videos. The integrity of the Octagon has been ruined. Oh, wait. Yep. I, can, I can have all your video games? All of them. Who oh. needs them? Awesome. Who needs video games? I found another blue thing. It's like a blue thing. Wait. Oh, no. I I broke it. I broke it. Uh, oh. I put the blue thing on the blue thing, and I broke it. Why would you put the blue Give me, you, I can't. Stop. Start thinking with your head. I, uh, I, I, bro I broke it. What does this sign say? Uh, I can't. That's not in English. I can't read it. I'm sorry. I can only read English. Here's a yellow thing, but I don't have a yellow thing to go on it. Are you, like, running faster now? No, I don't think so. So there's these pillars around. Oh, so now that I put down the blue thing, I bet I can pick up the red one now. Let's go grab that red one and come back. And put it on the red pillar. And uh, break and break stuff more. That's the yeah. that's the point of this game is to Oh, the the water level rose, that happened. There's like a this blue lake here now that wasn't here before. There's a lot of colors there. Can I go underwater? Oh, okay. This isn't water. I guess I can just run on top of it. Yeah, this game's pretty cool. What is all of your opinion on cool games? Bad. What? Uncool. What kind of games do you like then? Uncool ones? Like what? Yeah. What, do you play Dota? Maybe. <laughs> I played so number, I number Muncher and Math Blaster. You, <laughs> hey, now those games. Mavis Beacon only. All right, I got the red one now. I prefer Jungle Row and Math Blaster. <laughs> Wait, Jungler like the arcade game? Jungler like the. No, I think thing it's mobile reference. Sure is a thing in I think the kids are all about. Listen, I don't know. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know <laughs> mobas. I only know Lords Lords Management Simulators. <laughs> I only know Lords Hit Song Royals. Wanna play Dota? Dota! <laughs> da, 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 da. Nah. Watch I'm, out. I'm Watch out for the creeps. Creeps rushing. I'm jungling through the creeps. MOBA's all I need. <laughs> Are there creepers in Dota? I don't know. Yeah, I thought that's what the, the persistent little enemy dudes to come out. Those are called creeps, right? I've never played Dota. Because I'm cool. Sort of a tower defense. That's like, it's like any MOBA Wait. thing. What's that? Oh, okay. So, oh, so can oh, you no. not swim in that water, Calvin? Uh, no, I just run on top of it. But now things are even more broken. So I'm just mm. going to try and find more more stuff. I <laughs> thought that when you picked up the red one, you turned around, there were all of a sudden like giant blades of grass. I don't, I don't think so. It seems like putting stuff down is changing the world, but I'm not. Yeah, I just Sorry. saw that I mean, things got brighter around you, and you got more glitchy stuff going on. Yeah, let's go in uh, this big this big sphere here. See what's the, what's the party in here. I would actually Do Dota does like does seem like the type of thing I would be into. That's why, but, you, Derek. That's why you can't. Yeah, it, it. I don't know. Oh, found the green it, one. I, I, I get really worried about like starting big games like that because I worry that I'm gonna get too sucked into it. I kind of want to play uh, fin that Final Fantasy 15 mm. or whatever the new MMORPG yeah. is because I hear that's I know, really good. Like, Hearing Brad Shoemaker's descent into into Dota was really like it's humbling. scary for me. It could <laughs> it be so, you. It was so extreme. Yeah, exactly. I could be next. And I kind of already like I, I need to get more more serious about it. But I did kind of decide to dive into Street Fighter Four. Mm. But Street Fighter oh. Four re really is 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 so impenetrable. I, I'm gonna hey I'm gonna say if you if anyone in the stream has any uh, photosensitivity issues, go ahead and turn this off now. Cause this is getting fucked. Oh, okay. We're getting fucked up right now. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I guess the closest thing I have is um. I've been I've been playing a lot of Skullgirls. Kind of Shush. getting into that game's uh, like mechanics. Whoa. Yeah. That looks pretty hacked up. S S yeah. I, I started playing uh, Mortal Kombat and Injustice. Like I, I was like I'm gonna try another fighting game that maybe isn't so uh, deep in in kind of like muscle memory timing. Yeah. Assistance. Yeah. Uh, but actually, uh, Skullgirls was free on PlayStation Network. Um, Nick, we should like, I don't know, we should like, if, if we oh. both, if I, if I had a buddy I could like play with, that would definitely help mm. kind of move along. Uh, yeah, that was, 
that was what happened with me. It was I was actively playing it with someone for a while. Um, except I have the uh, the Steam version, so ah, yeah. I found I mean, a you're, white you're one. You're dead to me. Well, it's like an after class study group. God, yeah. <laughs> guys, I found a broken spaceship. But no, Makes like sense. Skullgirls is really cool and accessible. Um, like comparing it to other like anime fighting games, I enjoy it a whole heck of a lot more. Is that even really fair to to like, call it an anime? Fighting oh, absolutely. Game? Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. I mean, Derek, have you seen the? <laughs> it's, it's, sorry, I didn't mean it's like. Have you seen the boobaroobs on them goils? Okay, but. <laughs> Have what I? I understand about Skullgirls oh, from no, a no, no, mechanic no. standpoint is that um, a lot of anime fighting games have a lot of very similar mechanics, i.e., air dashing and and things of that sort. Um, a lot of like burst mechanics oh, no. and things of that nature. Uh, um, somebody oh. get Noah on the on the on the horn and tell him that the title of his of his new Synchronosity EP is anime fighting games. Yeah, there you go. Oh yeah. shit, um, Gu guys, this is getting really close to unplayable at this point. Oh I'm, no! I'm spooked. <laughs> oh my god! I can't. Oh my god! I can't. Yep. Oh my! I can't. This game is really cool. I might play it more, but I can't right now. I like that you have like Calvin. one little window. Have to, you have like, to press on, Calvin. Right no, I already closed it. It's too late. Oh, okay. It was. It was making me crazy. That game's hey, pretty hey, awesome. Hey, Calvin. Do what? You, do you For this world savior, and you just like quit. <laughs> do you do you know what you're gonna play next? I think I'm gonna play. Uh, I contemplated the son of Limbo. Okay. Well, he, and people uh, talk about uh, Guilty Gear, and I actually had some friends who were way into Guilty Gear X two back in college. Hey, I could never to the the Guilty Gear and and Blaze Blue mechanics. Hey, These games just really clicked with me. Hey, Nick, I see Noah is online. Do you want to holler at him and see if he wants to get added to this call? Uh, I'll see. He might be talking to his G. <laughs> Playing Final Fantasy VIII again. People with Jeeves, am I right? <laughs> I'm glad I don't got it. I, I've got an animated Jeeves. <laughs> but I just tell you joking. Oh, I'm sorry. Guys, there is a big, oh, there's shit. a big horrifying sun setting into the horizon. Oh, I see it. Um, I guess I'll follow it <laughs> into these murky, <laughs> these murky sure. waves. Oh God. Oh shit. Uh. All right, this game looks I'm not rad. Sure, I'm not sure it's happening because of, of the delay. Yeah, I felt just crash. No, I fell through the murky depths, and now I guess I'll just keep following this big sun. Uh, okay, so I finally found. Uh, oh, oops. All right, I finally found a link to that that game that you just played, Calvin. I had to do some digging because it's not in any characters oh. the keyboard has, <laughs> but I found it. I, I'm just falling through layers and layers of of deep, horrifying seas. I really dig these games that are just like almost just kind of like art pieces. Like, yeah. hey, check out this engine, make really cool shapes and and sounds and colors. Because I have a lot of dreams like this. Mm -hmm. You know, you should make a game, Derek. You sound like you have cool dreams. I don't have I don't have dreams as cool. Yeah, make LSD dream emulator too. Yeah, all my dreams are about being sad. <laughs> Oh, I had those. Nice. I had those oh. dreams too. Like everyone's every state of too late making Earthbound DVD Dream Emulator Four. <laughs> yes, <laughs> autobiographical. So I'm. I'm not sure if I. If this game is just falling through these seas and following the sun. But what if I just go in before the sun gets there? Oh, okay. I'm not falling through to deeper layers. I'm passing through from one side to the other and the sun is just rising and setting oh okay okay that's awesome yeah i always wonder about like with with games like this like how good it is to to stream them as a result of like i don't know like if if i've been doing the same thing for too long if it's gonna yeah. go anywhere I, Which, like, it's not a problem at all if it doesn't. And I think the more games that kind of detach the idea of an ending, you know, the, the better in a lot of cases. Yeah, I've seen more of this game in, like, the screenshots for it, so... Mm -hmm. I don't know. I assume there's more to it. Is there a challenge to try and not fall? I mean, yeah, I, I think... I, I believe I can just... The sun just, is generating holes in the ground. If you avoid the holes, you're going to be able to do something. I mean, I think the sun is just going into the sea. 
like the, that wat- that pink watery area that I'm looking at now. And there's nothing forcing me to go down there with it. I can just hang out on this mountain and chill. Oh, if I don't click outside the window, that is. <laughs> like a jerkoid. What a jerky. <laughs> Not Quentin. He's a real jerky. He's a real, he's a real jerky. And Dorco and the plaid knickers gotta hit it again. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace, George Carlin. Rest in peace, George Carlin. Oh, that's a great bit. You can just sit in the milk. <laughs> Wait, where'd, this, where'd the sun go? It should be back by now. There it is. You know, I'm not, I'm not very big about, like, stand-up, but George Carlin is one of the few that, like, I, I actually feel compelled to, like, sit through the, the specials of. Yeah, I would say his, his later stuff, he just got very, very angry. Yeah. Uh, through the 80s and up until, like, the, I would say, like, his last really, really great special was Jammin' in New York. And then he kind of he kind of just got more and more old and angry as he as the as the you know, millennium came to an end. And, and mm-hmm. right before he passed away, though, he did a really good uh, performance called "It's Bad for You." Yeah, and, yeah. And it, you could kind of tell he was definitely uh, contemplating the December of his years. Um, he had a bunch of really Ooh. good jokes about funerals and and stuff like that. Mm. I, I found a stool that I can sit in and watch the sun move. Oh, just sit, awesome. the, sit in the stool. Can I, can I just say, like, how beautiful this game's skyboxes yeah. are? This game looks really rad. And I like its cool, like, kind of low-poly ocean. Yeah, yeah. I like, um, I like that you're kind of, like, actively clipping through it by the looks of it. Yeah. So, like, you're kind of only getting certain faces of it. Yeah, and, like, on this side of it, you're seeing, like, like it's, only, it's only showing faces on the opposite side. So, from this side, you're only seeing the stuff that's showing through the... From the tiny bit I know about 3D stuff. Mm. Yeah. Woo. Oh, 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 there's, 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 in, in, there, there's a dude. There's a dude. Oh. Yeah, I was going to say, what's kind of inherently interesting about these indie games is there's just the, the mysteriousness of them, the mystique. Yeah, yeah. Like, they don't even really need to, like, they can just be kind of pretty and and just strange things that aren't even really a game. Shit. I got spooked. Oh, oh no. He's glitching out. Yeah, I can, uh, I can hear your audio. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm kind of worried about, like, when it catches up. Uh, uh, it's getting bigger. No spoilers. He, oh. was, oh, he was sitting on the... Oh, he jacked your chair. Yeah, he was sitting on your stool. Well, he was sitting on the opposite... All right, he left. Oh, yo. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit down on the stool now. <sighs> like, I don't know what that is, but that's really cool looking. Uh, yeah. Let's just take a break and sit on the stool. Oh, yeah. Oh, all right. See ya. All right. That was pretty spooky. All right, let's go. Let's go back around to the other side and see what's over there now. <laughs> Is it like a sit button? Yeah, I just press E. All right, there's just this, there's just the stool back over here now. I love games like this in like Unity and other such like 3D programs. Um, that like really allow you or allow for stuff like that where like that poly- or that that model just got like blown to pieces. Yeah, and that was like a facet of the game's story. You know, like um, I I I think like one of my biggest like inspirations when it comes to three D based game development. Not to say that there's an inherently huge different or a difference between two D and three D, but um. Just like kind of like one of my biggest influences is the uh, that oh gosh what is the name of the the glitch from Goldeneye where if you tilt the cart the models get really messed up oh yeah yeah there was like a meme attached to it um, and listen just, we all know you love memes I, I I'm the biggest fan of memes <laughs> it's true um, yeah just like that looking at what happens to those models you know uh, is is really like fascinating to me. And that game breaks like legitimate ways too. You can there's all yeah. kinds of cheats that you can yeah. do, uh, and that's kind of an old school. Like you don't really can't really do that with games anymore. And we made this point when we played a, a Golden a couple months ago. Uh, I like when you used to be able to like with the tools they gave you to break the game and really fuck with the game with your cheats and debug modes and and stuff like that. Holy yeah. shit! And, fuck. And like. 
Sorry, I got spooked really bad. Sorry for being no, the mic. Oh man. That's a feeling that I really want to kind of capture um, in the future with games is that, that kind of like, oh, let's clip through this, you know, like, I, I like the idea of um, almost in like a, oh my oh, god, whoa, Jesus. Oh. oh, wow, I got spooked so bad, I don't know, <laughs> fucking, yup, I legitimately whoa. jumped, yeah, <laughs> oh. I like this whole like pushing Calvin through the door ahead of us. We have oh no, he's <laughs> that, wait. That's, that, it's like a meta spook because of like what the fuck is Calvin reacting Gu to? Guys, yeah, exactly. Guys, there's exactly. a th there's a cross on the other side. Is that where yeah, I died? What, what could happen? What's the worst? I'm Just go dig it up. Oh wait, not click E. That's uh, not. I don't want to turn around now. Uh. All right, he's not there. This man, this is like us playing Silent Hill PT all over again. Like I don't want to turn around. And you would like just whip around. You would do 360 or 180s all over the place in that game. And I was like, dude, Calvin, turn around like slowly, dude. Lisa could <laughs> no. Be I just you... I just want to get it over with. Oh. Oh, okay. That that game was I fucking brilliant. The, uh, I just noticed that the er the ocean is like getting more turbulent. Yeah, now. yeah. It's I really like that. It's rocking and rolling. Uh, I love, I love like the rule sets that games like this. Oh man, there's themselves. so many dudes. There's so many dudes. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, oh. what's what's funny too about the Twitch delay, delay is like as soon as Calvin mentions something, there's just oh. this immediate sense of like oh. Oh. Built for oh. us. Like, what are we about to see? Yeah, because oh, like, Calvin's dead. I walked, Calvin's I walked dead. through him, and oh, now Jesus. he's exploding. He's oh, they're expl hella, they're hella dudes. Is that just gonna? Should I just walk through all of them and make them explode? Oh fuck! I'm I'm just gonna make them all explode. That seems correct. Until I just got confirmation that, that Noah is in fact talking to his chief. <laughs> what a loser! Talking to a chief. You can't you can't talk to someone. I gotta go quick before Sport I'm entirely. Vehicles aren't sentient. Come on. Uh, oh. I gotta go quick before I'm entirely swallowed up by this mess. Uh, that looks so cool. Uh, ah. uh, last one. Alright, that's all of them. They're all exploding. I'm disgusting. I'm I'm going to the other side. I I complete I contemplated the son of limbo. It says. I can't go to the other wow. side anymore. Everything's everything's ex everything's dying. We're we're all, we're all dying, guys. Really uh, like this game's side design. Uh, I put the sun. Uh, where, where'd the sun go? I, I can't find it. Oh, there's the sun. It's down there. It's below me. Everything is just exploding bigger and bigger. Oh man, I, I'm just trying to run away from it. I wonder what like the the physicality of of this is like by the game's logic like i imagine the 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 dev had some idea of like what it would feel like physically to be in in a world like that yeah oh man oh i, th I think this might just be the end just with everything mm -hmm. exploding around you but i'm gonna see if i can touch the sun so i can kind of see where it is since i'm i'm not attached to the island i should be able to touch it I keep seeing, like, a skull or other weird shapes that are probably just my imagination playing tricks with me. Mm. Yeah, I haven't seen any of that. All right. So, yeah, probably now that you pointed here, it out. I might here, come, here comes the sun, little darling. It's getting closer. Oh, uh, I don't know where it went. We should redo. All right, I'm gonna say that's the end of this one, since we can't seem to do anything, and it's just on the title with All a right, bunch of let's, flashes. Let's play some Gears of War three Horde Woo! mode. Woo! <laughs> All right, that was uh, I. I contemplated the Son of Limbo. That's that was really cool. I'm surprised at no point during that did we ever do a Here comes the sun. I, I mean, I did. I, I, yeah, I, I said. Calvin just said the words without the the melody. Well, what was the point? <laughs> oh my, I can still Call, calling you out, Calvin. Oh, I, 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 thought I, was, I thought I was hearing echoes of the soundtrack, but it's the sirens. Oh God, Calvin, so. you should play. You should play Gears of Boys. Uh, sorry, you should play Gears of Boys in the, in the form of the Dwenkai. 
but it's a game about boys. Oh, it's, all right. It's a game I, about I, I, I love boys. I love boys. Let's play Doinkai. Uh, wait. Where's the? Where's the app? There's the app. I don't know how Windows works. All right. We 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 muted the mic. Police is gone. We're safe. Oh, oh wait. This one didn't load right off to add it to the thing. But you can hear the nice music. Yes. It sounds like uh, uh, a writer's, writer's Almanac on NPR. <laughs> there we go. And then... Nope, you don't want to go anywhere than that. All right, that's fine. All right. Are you going to be able to, like... I mean, you might you might be ahead, but I can still only see the uh, the folder. Yeah, yeah, I, I, it's up now. Okay, cool. All right. Oh, yeah, there we go. Please type so, your please type your name and hit enter, or just hit enter to go to the default name. My name is Calvin. It's a little bit of context about this game. Um, this game is actually made by a really good friend of mine, uh, so I'm kind of just doing like filthy, awful like friendship mode right now can't believe it um Nepo but, uh, nepotism yeah yeah so um also wait is it although, family or is it a friend <laughs> nepotism is like did your sister make this or something i don't care about using words right <laughs> so um Purple uh, monkey although, dishwasher. It although it does not appear in this build noah hafford is is doing uh music for for this game as well nice all right, I feel a little bit guilty when I step into Lady's house and notice a clock on the wall that says 3.10 a.m. That's too, it's too late. She usually works weird hours regardless, but today happens to be one of her rare days off. I'd apologize, but knowing her, she won't hear any of that. Lady's the type who likes to be inconvenienced. I've never been more grateful for that side of her than I am right now. Uh, the spare room is down the hall. Need any help with your bags? It's okay, thank you. I tried to pack lightly. All right. Hey, Calvin, is there anything I can do for you? You look, I don't know, exhausted. And I'm going to say thank you for your concern. I am pretty tired, but I'm not usually awake at this hour either. I probably just need some sleep. You're too good to me, lady. Thank you. It's no problem. I mean, what are friends for? Go and pack and get some rest. We'll talk more in the morning. All right. Lady's house is a welcoming refuge. Scattered nightlights dot a path from her foyer to the end of the hallway. The muted wine color of her rugs and the patterns of her walls strike me as dainty and comforting. Mature, like Lady is. The place even smells mature, like the expensive candles you buy for, for moms on Mother's Day. I take a deep whiff and revel in its warmth. It feels a, a little nostalgic. I try a couple of doors and accidentally find the bathroom and a closet before I finally locate the spare room. The door snicks and sn sticks and snaps a bit when I, before I open it as if it hadn't been opened in quite a while. Inside, it's mostly decorated. The air is a little, a little staler than the rest of the house, but the candle scent still pervades. The bed looks like the store display with how perfectly arranged its blankets and pillows are. Not a single wrinkle to be seen here, as expected of Lady. Aside from the bed, there's a vanity and a dresser. I dump my toiletries into the vanity and drop my backpack on the floor without much elegance. Organization can wait until morning. The window is a struggle to crack open. It snaps with disuse, just like the door. I take a deep whiff. Ah, the night air smells a lot cleaner than the air I'm used to. That's nice. My body feels heavy as I drop into bed. I barely even have a chance to process everything that's happened before my eyelids slam shut. What a day. Uh, Cal Calvin. Yes. Uh, that cursor. Uh, I'm just curious if you can do something about it. I, I can get rid of the cursor. Okay. <laughs> now that we've interrupted, I'd just like to say, because of the video delay, this totally feels like... Calvin's doing a books on tape twine game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I should play a twine game on stream to see how that goes. All right, what do you do when you don't feel like you belong anywhere? There's probably a lot of things you could do. Joining groups to meet some people. Changing yourself over time to become the kind of person who fits in. Or maybe even teaching yourself how to be happy all alone. I tried a few things, but it's easy to get scared and give up. Even if you're on the right track, all it takes is the smallest mistake. You slip up and start thinking, maybe, it's, maybe it really is impossible for me to be happy here. You quit and go right back to your old habits. It's not easy to escape that cycle. Getting scared and letting your failures weigh you down. This game's a little, a little, a little yeah. too close to home. I was born a human to two human parents. When I was little, I grew up on a street with humans. I had human friends. I went to a school with human children. My teachers were humans, too. We lived in a humans-only community, and the only time I heard about de Dehuti, the non-humans, was in, when they were spoken with fear. Nick, am I pronouncing that right? Uh... Yeah. I'm not sure. Is I've it, never... Do, Duneki? Oh, Dwinkai. Dwinkai. I got to keep Sorry, that... Sorry, I thought it was another... You, you threw nope. a T in there. I, I, threw, like I pronounced it like Jehuti. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Jehuti in 1080p. Yeah. 
Not even close. <laughs> right. Shibodi. So what? What time? How? One more time. How is it? Dwayne Kai. Dwayne Kai. I always want to pronounce it Duneki. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll just throw like a pronunciation in the chat for people. All right, Dwine Kai. All right, it's like Twine Guy, except Dwine yeah, not, Kai. Not, no, uh, here, I'll, I'll give you a pronunciation guide. I ain't looking at the chat. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 the, the Skype call. Oh, okay. If you can check that out. All right. All right, all right. Dwine Kai. All right. There you go. All right. Since the death of planet Dwen over a century ago, humans and Dwenkai have cohabitated Earth, yet still, yet we still treat each other as strangers, as monsters. But one time, a Dwenkai... Oh, I showed me kindness. And as I grew older, humans started treating me with disdain. My own parents felt like strangers. With no one to confide in, I felt less than human, and I was alone. So there it is. What do you do when you don't feel like you belong anywhere? In my case, I packed my bags. Hey, lady. <laughs> Calvin, are you awake yet? I made breakfast. Gah. <laughs> what time is it? It's still dark outside. I've got to swing by work, but I'll be back later. If you need anything, call me, okay? And don't leave the house without your mask. Bye now. What's, what's happening so far? Uh, there's monsters. Okay. <laughs> it's a really good goof, actually, in the chat from uh, Nut Classe, which is probably mispronounced. Uh, the Katawa Skelejo. Oh. I rub my it's eyes for a minute. Kind of dumb. By the time I feel alert enough to say proper goodbye to lady, she's already gone. I don't even remember what she just said to me. I wish she'd lend me some of her infinite energy. Groping the nightstand next to my bed, I find my cell phone and click on it. Click it on. The text at the top reads 6 a.m. No idea what a bar desperately needs at 6 a.m., but whatever it is, I do not envy lady for being the one obligated to go check on it. I have to give her props for being so dedicated, though. She's been dedicated like that ever since I met her. When she first tutored me back in high school, I'd never met anyone so energetic about education, or about anything, really. Of course, her true identity as non-human lost her that job. I guess sunglasses can only hide glowing eyes for so long. Tch. Anyway, I guess I, I guess I should unpack my stuff. I'm going to be here for a while. All right, so... Sounds like a monster was nice to me once, and then all these humans said, you're one of them monsters, aren't you? And kicked me out. And now I live with monsters. But I probably got to wear a mask, so they think I'm a monster. That is exactly correct. I got well, sometimes. Uh, sometimes monsters are nice, though. Is that the point? I, well, think, I mean, I, think most, I don't think they're often not nice. I think we're. I think humans in this game are just monster racist. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's let's just like Mass Effect. let's see. Hairbrush, wallet, pocket knife, shampoo, three BS system, jacket. I should probably should have brought more clothes, but underwear and socks are all that really matter, I guess can do anything as long as you have comfortable underwear and sturdy socks. That's life advice. I put the clothes in the dresser and toothbrush. I forgot a toothbrush. I guess I have some morning breath too. Gross. No choice but to make a, make a stop by the supermarket if I can remember where it is anyway. Now where's... Uh, here we go. Oh, that's a spooky mask. It's the kind of silly looking thing. I crafted an art class a couple years back just for fun, but I think it should, it should, made a pa it should make a passable disguise too. I'm a bit apprehensive about the thought of someone recognizing me as human, but Lady said a mask would be enough to keep anyone from asking. I can only hope that... Oh, I already forgot. Dwenki communities are more discreet than human ones. Uh, it's a spooky mask. Back at home, I can't even change my hairstyle without people nagging me for a reason. Sheesh. Well, Lady looks completely human except for her eyes, so maybe people will assume I'm like her. Ah, whatever. Let's get this toothbrush thing over with. Let's go get a toothbrush, y'all. Video games. <laughs> RPG, get a toothbrush. Hard-hitting questions. I'm marveling at how normal this supermarket is. Shopping carts, sliding glass doors, advertisements for sale on soda. Nothing freakish or jarring at all, really. Listen, these monsters are just like us. There's some minute details that set it apart from a supermarket geared towards humans, though. The front doors are much taller and wider, preferably to accommodate for more generously sized creatures. <laughs> There's, something differently scaled, there's some differently scaled shopping carts, too. Big ones, taller than me. Little ones, about the size of a toddler's toy. They're sort of cute. Even I can't resist the charms of miniature stuff. Oh, man, this is a photo from a real, from a real supermarket, and it says temporary background photo ref, lol. <laughs> Stepping inside, I see that the aisles are similarly geared to beings of different proportions. There's ladders at the ends of each aisle, sort of like you'd see in a huge library. The aisles are, aisles are more widely spaced from each other than I'm used to. I walk past a cashier who, who appears to be kind of gelatinous. 
uh, no offense, a random cashier, but as cool as that is, I think I'll check out at a different register once I find my stuff. I sure hope their hands don't drip on groceries. Don't, now, now I'm being monster racist. Man, it's so early that the store is mostly empty. While I'm kind of eager to see more uh, 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 Dwen Kai, I'm all, I'd also like to ease myself into this whole Dwen Kai community thing, so it's probably for the best. Ah, there's the out for bathroom stuff. Bingo. Why are there so many different toothbrushes? I don't know which one to buy. Should I just get one like my old one, or maybe this one here? It's cheaper. That doesn't mean it'll fall apart sooner or anything, right? Wow, this one's got brushes on either side. An electric toothbrush might be kind of nice, but then again, how lazy do you have to be? As I'm standing here choosing a toothbrush, as if my life hinges on the decision, I notice someone really interesting just a little ways down the aisle. Oh, it's a dude with a keyboard for a head. A person with a keyboard for her head is reading a magazine. How, sir? Somehow. How does he see? He doesn't have anything resembling eyes anywhere. Man, I'm really curious, but it'd be inappropriate to ask. It's the strangest thing. He's got small, pale hands gripping some kind of magazine about music production. From thin shoulders to battered tennis shoes, he looks like a perfectly normal guy. Then the next suddenly joins seamlessly with a keyboard. I just can't figure it out. Wow. A little lizard girl looks mesmerized by this keyboard person as I am. I guess with so much variety, maybe even uh, Dwen Kai get confused by their Dwen Kai. Hey, you, come here. And he's like, dot, dot, dot. And the girl said, says, I want to play. He looks uncomfortable. Can't say I blame him. What was some strange kid yelling orders at him? I can't reach. Oh. Mystery keyboard man says, uh, I don't. The girl says, come here. And the, oh, she knocked him over. What the? Well, this was unexpected. The little girl yanked on his cord. Now the keyboard <laughs> dude is blaring music and completely freaking out. He's rattling like someone dropped a snake down his pants. The girl gets so startled, she runs away. Hey, turn it down, kid. You're disturbing other customers. Oh, gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying. His arms fling everywhere, maybe trying to find the volume knob. I'd help him out, but I feel like I might startle him more. And he gets up. Oh. He tripped over his own cord. There's magazines all over the floor now. At least he somehow managed to turn his head music down. Sheesh. Guys, should we help him? Yeah. Yeah, it seems like... It seems like he needs it. Yeah. I'm going to help him out. I can't stand the sight of him sitting there on the tile looking so disoriented. If a person without a face can possibly look disoriented anyway, I've got to help. Shoot, I'm such an idiot. Stupid, stupid, stupid idiot. And Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to startle. You look like you could use a hand or two. Dot, dot, dot. Crap. Did I make some kind of social blunder? Maybe I should have left him to his business after all. Uh, thank you. Sorry. Don't worry about this mess. It's my own. Not your fault at all. That little girl shouldn't have yanked your chain like that. I'm trying really hard not to stare, but watching someone with no face fidget and glance around is really odd. He must be, have some kind of ocular ability. His voice comes out from the speaker on either side of his head, only a tiny bit distorted. After a pause, he finally nods at me and continues gathering up magazines. I guess that's, the way, that's his way of accepting my help. I copy his careful method of smoothing and shelving each mag, and we're done in no time. He straightens himself up and slowly, slowly offers out a shaky hand. I appreciate the help. My name's Cassius. <laughs> do, you get, do, do you get it? Derek, Derek, do you get it? I don't get it. Cassius? Nah. Uh, I you, you need to upgrade to Moogius. <laughs> uh, hi, my name's Kurtzweilius. <laughs> M. Audius. <laughs> Sennheiseris, Wolitzeritz. Let's get them all out. I really like the animation to the uh, hearts in the text. Yeah, I like, I like the little hearts. Like, that's kind of the next thing. No problem, Cassius. My name's Calvin. Nice to meet you. Cassius Calvin. Calvin, best friend. <laughs> I like that name. Uh, he seems shocked that I'm actually shaking his hand. Where do you expect me to ignore his gesture or something? Or was I not supposed to touch him at all? Gah. I need to ask Lady if there's any special uh, Dwen Kai etiquette. He quickly lets go. If you don't mind me saying, I come here pretty regularly, and I've never seen you before. Are you new or visiting? I'm new here. I'm from pretty far out of town, so I'm still getting used to everything. I see. I notice he's still gripping that one magazine he was reading in his other hand. Looks like the cover is battered up, casu battered up casually to the key great keyboard dude fall of 21XX. Oh, I forgot to mention, but uh, I'm pretty sure the... Um, she might have fixed this, but I'm pretty sure the, uh, the text uh, entering a little bit at the beginning where you get to type in your name, mm -hmm. uh, you have unlimited characters. <laughs> great. So you could... I, that that might have been fixed, but Man. there was at least a point where you could name yourself the entirety of One Piece. <laughs> awesome. 
I'll buy that for you if you like. I'm only getting a toothbrush anyway. Oh, no, I couldn't. Seriously, it's no problem. I feel bad for you since it wasn't your fault you got scared like that in the first place. He looks even more uncomfortable, holding his arms tightly against his side. Probably a little too forward of me to buy something for a complete stranger, but the poor guy deserves something good to happen after all of that. Thank you. That's so nice of you. We walk together to the front of the store and get in the express lane. He stands in polite distance from me and continues wiggling his fingers around like he doesn't know what to do with them, tensing and flexing, clenching and unclenching, gripping and releasing the bottom of his sweater. Jeez, I feel antsy just watching him. So, do you make music? I gesture at the magazine in his left hand. Uh, no, not exactly. Sort of. What does that mean? I'm interested in it, but I'm not really any good, so I have to teach myself more before I can, really ma before I can make any real music. Ah, I gotcha. At least you're pursuing something. I don't really have any hobbies. Or rather, I'm not good at anything other than video games. He laughs at that, and I feel weirdly proud of making him laugh, even though that really wasn't supposed to be a joke. Coincidentally, he has a very musical laugh. Do you mind if, <laughs> <laughs> do you mind if I ask where you live? I'm right down the road. I'm at the right down the road in a little cul-de-sac. Wait, are you talking about Calvin Street? <laughs> Hell yeah, Calvin Street. Yeah, that's the one. No where fooling. Music lives. No fooling. I live there too, in a little house all the way at the right end. Whoa, there. Then we're neighbors. Fancy that. Next in line, please. Whoops, sorry. I plop down the toothbrush while he sets the magazine down carefully. I wish I could read him better, but it's just too hard. To, it's too hard just going by hand movements. I think he seems excited, though. I fish around through my wallet, pay for the stuff, and collect the goods. Oh, loud car. By the time we're out the door, I, the clock on my phone tells me it's already 8 a.m. Jeez, I sure did take my sweet time just to get a single piece of toiletry. Oh, well, at least I had a semi-successful interaction with a local. Thanks again for the magazine. Uh, if you'd be interested, maybe you could come by sometime, and I'll teach you a bit of basic piano as repayment. I hope this is a dating simulator where you get to go and, like, date keyboard head. <laughs> date keyboard head. I mean, it's, yeah, it's it absolutely is. Awesome. Wait. There's not just keyboard head, though. Wait, if I... If he teaches me piano, do I do I play it on his head? Do I just play it on his head? <laughs> uh, <laughs> and is that like yeah. is that like is that like or, is that is, is that, or, is, that or, is that is that oral sex? Is that oh no no I actually <laughs> asked about this recently and um, I'm pretty sure like uh, like the, the the keyboard is basically about the the equivalent of like teeth. So, like so, it feels about the same as like. Tapping on, on your, your teeth. Space, yeah, space Money Octagon Developer Exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> burr, 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 burr. Well, friend of a developer exclusive. Friend of a developer exclusive. Burr, 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 burr. Bargo busted. <laughs> Bargo busted. He freezes and starts waving his hands in circles. Like blow into like a... A melodica? Loop or whatever. Melodica. Yeah, yeah, those. <laughs> what if you yeah. change that? It's like... No, 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 no. Oh, that no. would be... If, if you had one of those for a head. Oh, no. Oh, wait. He, hot air into he, his brain. he clarifies oh. right here. No, not on my head, of course, on a different piano. <laughs> it takes so much willpower not to laugh at that. I manage, though, not wanting to offend him. I can only imagine how creepy it would feel to have someone's fingers pressing all over your head or face. Do the keys count as a face part? Of course. Thank you for the offer. I'll definitely consider that. All right, then. Uh, see you around. And with that, he trots off. That long cord bounces from the back of his head, swinging side to side like a singular strand of hair as his gangly silhouette disappears. I almost expect him to trip over it again. He ought to tie it up or something. I turn my phone back, to t back on to text lady, but the screen suddenly goes black and stays that way. Ugh, come on. Nothing. The stupid thing's dead as a brick. Great. I pocket it and decide to head home. Going any anywhere close in a anywhere else in a relatively unfamiliar town without a means of contact sounds like a recipe for disaster. And we're, oh no, lady's mad at me. Calvin, she yells. <laughs> Whoa, I'm startled out of my peaceful reverie. I'm bolted upright from my lying position, I accidentally toss the handheld to the floor. It is with some shame that I realize I've been playing games for nine hours. Remind you of anything, Derek? Playing was, video games I was, for nine I was, I was playing Game Boy, what? <laughs> <laughs> Jerk, you're supposed to be looking at the chat and paying attention to my wonderful stream. A Mega Man. Shut up, Mega Man. I'm disgusting. <laughs> there you are. I was so worried about you. I called you maybe Apparently, 20 times. I'm Mega Man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was worried that you hit your head in the shower and passed out or something. I come home half expecting to see you naked and unconscious. Thank God that wasn't the case. I, uh, thanks for the confidence in my coordination. <laughs> but seriously, why didn't you answer your phone? 
it died and it won't turn back on. I tried charging it, but it still won't work. I have no idea what I did to it. Oh, I see. Well, no problem at all. As it turns out, I, I, we live right next door to a technician. Wow, really? Yeah, he's a nice man, too. His name's Tor Sharma. I don't know if I know him terribly well, but I'm sure he'd be happy to take a look at your phone. Here, take a 20 over and tell him if he needs more payment to cover the costs or fixing or whatever what's wrong with it. I'll write him a check later. Are you sure? I mean, I have some savings. I can pay for it myself. Maybe. Don't even fret that, silly. I just received a paycheck, so I'm good to go. He's in the house directly to our left. Off with you now. I'm going to start dinner. All right, thank you, lady. I'll be right, I'll be right back then. Let's go meet this new boy. The truth is, Boys. I'm... I'm scared about approaching the neighbors, not only because I'm human, uh, albeit with a mask, but also because I've been, it's been so long since I really made an effort to come out of my shell and chat anyone up. Cassius was a different case because I had a good reason to approach him, and I didn't know I shared a neighborhood with him. But I guess the only way for me to build confidence is by practicing. All right, come on, me. You can do this. Just politely drop off the cell phone and... Oh, coming. Oh, it's a lion, dude. <laughs> Hello, can I help you? Whoa, this is unexpected. He's a giant bipedal tiger, white fur, broad shoulders, well-dressed. I, I apologize, he's a tiger, dude. Gosh, even for a tiger, he feels kind of big. Maybe because I've never seen one staying perfectly upright, he's got a big muzzle, too. All right, guys, I can't read anymore. <laughs> this game looks cool. Uh, where, what with you, you dating monster boys? I'm I, actually really liking this. Yeah, I'm digging it. I, I'll, I'll play it more, but I, I've done a lot of reading this stream. <laughs> Yeah, and, and somebody in the chat was asking if uh, your main character has a gender, and uh, my response would be like, would it matter? Yeah, I don't well, think uh, so. Cassio canonically, canonically oh. June is non-binary, um, but wow. it, it kind of goes down to the, like, the specifics of, you know, like whatever gender the person playing is. Let's see, we're coming up on like two hours. I think, yeah, we, uh, Calvin, let's do something goofy and jaunty that's you not reading. Yeah, uh, let's oh, play. Let, let's Gears play. of War 3 Horde mode. No. I wanted, I wanted to ask um, if, if this stream was getting recorded at all. Yes, it is. Okay, cool, because uh, Alyssa wanted to, to tune into this segment but couldn't make it. Yes, it should be recording, much. and I might put it up in a year. I don't know. Okay, uh, cool. All right, so let's, let's try out Roguelite, since as far Heck, as I know, yeah. that doesn't have any reading. I, I really think that. been sitting on my desktop oh. for like eight years, and I still haven't played it. All right. Uh, that icon looks spooky and awesome. See if I can make yeah. this bigger. All right. Oh, I can make it bigger than that. Oh, God, I hear spooky stuff. Whatever it is, it's getting closer. <laughs> How dare you? What's that? Uh, sorry. Some some bad <laughs> band? It's... It, I. It just came out of me. Well, I kind of still like that song. Well, put it back, oh, in, that song, that put song it back inside of you, Nick. All right, there we go. Roguelite. That was our attempt at a paper chase song, so whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. I the glitch stuff you guys did in like, the intro was pretty cool. All right, I can jump. I can shoot arrows. Oh, I can't go that way. Audio by Jonathan Tree. Already digging the audio work. Yeah, all these sound effects are really, really, really crisp and, and great sounding. All right. Let's head down <laughs> here. Your arrows are so dinky. Can you charge them at yeah. all? Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, man. And it looks like they create light sources when I do. Oh, whoa. Because they're like flaming arrows. Awesome. Wee. Oh, no. Doesn't help when I fall into the... Oh, is that more arrows? Yeah, it is. I like your hair, kind of. Whoa! Oh, uh, your hair looks really nice when you uh, yeah. jump. Yeah. Oh, no, those are spikes. Jump! Don't worry, I'm safe. Can you hold a charged arrow and move? Uh, Let's hold on, let me light. see, let me see. Uh, yeah, I can move and jump while, while having a charged arrow. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks, Ian. You Same jerk day. for making me better at video games. I hate video games. <laughs> <laughs> Jump cut to the far future where Calvin's talented video game ends humanity. <laughs> My fault. I killed a bad guy. Yeah, he becomes the Comstock of, of, <laughs> of video games. Becomes? Don't you mean already already is? You're not even Booker DeWitt, man. What? 
How dare you? <laughs> Gotta get on that. Watch out for a spooky dude. I got him. Okay. Maybe he, maybe spooky dude was scared too. Oh no! Too. Where am I falling to? Oh so man! Is this whole game like about trying to create more light sources and stuff? It seems like it, but I'm out oh, of arrows. Light. Oh no! Oh, rogue light. I get it. I thought it was. Oh well, I, there it is. I thought it was oh. spelunky style where I could walk past the. Uh, oh, I died. Oh well, well, thankfully it's a rogue light, so you should be able to oh. start back from the beginning. But I, I, your progress. I got upgrades I can do. Heck yeah. Uh, so I can add health. I can get minus one damage from enemies, plus jump height, minus one damage from hmm, double jump. I oh. really like that animation. That double jump seems like it'll be yeah. good. I want that double jump. Oh, I don't have money for it. Okay. Yeah, shouts, shouts to that death animation. If people in the chat, give it, give it the love. I think the only thing I can afford, really, is the longbow. So we'll go with that. And then how do I get back out? I don't I I don't know. I don't know how to get back to the game. Escape? Uh that might I think that quits the game. Oh, there we go. Just return. Alright. Back at it. Back at it again in Krispy Kreme. <laughs> I think about hey, that vine like once a day. It's one of the didn't, best. It's one of the best vines. Didn't tape a friend of ours, some associate of ours, lives near that very Christy Creek. Yeah, and she said she was going to investigate to see if the sign was still broken, and she never did. Oh no! I gotta know. Oh, bam! Level one. So, do you take fall damage? I don't think so. Okay, cool. Cause falls like that in such like darkness, it's pretty like stressful. And you know what? Charging an arrow basically works like having a portable light source. Okay, that's good. Oh, except now I'm out of arrows. Oh, I didn't realize you had a limit. Yep. Oh, and I'm getting yeah. hurt by something. Just run for it. Oh no. Oh, okay. But after a while, I recharge an arrow. I think. I think the other arrows burn out. No, you and you just arrows are all over the place. So you're picking them up constantly. All right. There's a there's a cute bug. I'm down with bugs. There's some health back at least. Ah, oh, died uh -huh. ag died again. Uh -huh. Does this see the tower fall thing where you can pick up the arrows you shot? No. I don't think but so. They seem to be pretty plentiful. Wait, you, 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 we wrapped around to level one again? No, I, I just kind of backtracked because I couldn't find rolls to go. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, you died there. So I got six. Uh, not really much else I can get. Yeah. yeah, you can see that arrows burn out after a while. The only bit once it burns all the way out, you get that arrow back. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Are you sure? It feels like he just arrows on the ground wherever he walks. He's just, he's just picking them up. Yeah. Oh, well, that's we it. Oh, there's a bad guy. Got him. Ah. Dr. Dr. Dre voice. <laughs> Roguelite voice got him. <laughs> hey, do you think Dr. Dre likes getting his booty ate? Let's just get all, the, all the memes out there. Dr. Dre. I'm Dr. Drake, all the way from. <laughs> Do you think Dr. Drake likes, likes getting his booty ate? Oh, so I haven't really been paying super close attention. This game is procedurally generated, right? Well, oh, yeah, I mean, like, that's what I assume is part of the rogue-like thing. Yeah, yeah. But it seems like it's kind of um, rogue legacy style, where you keep the money you pick up. Yeah, yeah. Although, although maybe not, because I'm back down to three bucks again. And I thought I had more than that before. Yeah, I had six uh, before. You, you, you had two. You just picked up that third one on the delay here. Mm -hmm. So you, you must have spent it when you were uh, buying upgrades. I don't think I spent it. Whatever. Whatever. It's still a cool game. And I like cool games. I don't know about you losers. Nah. So Derek, you were, you were big into Rogue Legacy for a while, right? Yeah, and I'm, I'm 
plan to get it for a PlayStation. Uh, mm. I really, really dug it. I, I didn't yeah. get very far in it either. I only ever beat the first boss. Oh. Um, and uh, I never, yeah, I, 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 so much more of that game I'd love to play. Yeah, I ended up uh, putting in like 70 hours into that game. Damn. Yeah. It's not that long of a game. I didn't realize it was that long of a game. I'm just really bad at video games. Yeah, also, do it. I was I was taking my my sweet time with it. Yeah, it was a really good game to just like zone out and like listen to a podcast or do other stuff with. All right, so I had I had one dollar or one coin when I got done buying upgrades, and now I have zero again. So it is mm. fully Rogue Legacy style, where you don't keep anything. I thought Rogue Legacy, like, you, you have to give a percentage of your money at the door. Uh, you have to give all of it. Yeah, th there's oh. upgrades you get where I keep... Oh, no, there's a new monster. Spooky oh, skeleton. you're right, 15 yeah. or 20, yeah. You have yeah. to buy those. They're pretty expensive, and they're really not worth it, because, uh... I don't know, in, in my experience, the money you would save versus the money you spent and money you could use, to, it's not a really good use of your resources. Right? Yeah, it's, yeah. Oh no! Oh. Nope, died. Died in the dark. So these, so these sound effects are the, they sound similar to stuff in uh V V V V V V V V. Yeah, oh. yeah. How many bit. V's? I think it's actually six. Is it five? I think so. I, I kind of want to say it was six. I do. I do know the joke is that the game is actually called V. Yeah, yeah. Actually, the URL is I think uh, the letter V six times. Mm. That, that, that's uh, that's a really good game on the 3DS. That's, that's, a, that's a still very good movie. It's, it's literally not six V's. It's the letter V six times. Yeah, those <laughs> words. Those words written out. Fucking Terry. Oh, I would wait. say another really good podcast game where that was Dark Souls because uh, so much of that game is just you killing dudes and and the story is only there if you really want to dig it up. Mm. Yeah. That's something I really want a Vita for, is for games like Rogue Legacy, except on a portable platform. Yeah, definitely. And I might buy a Vita simply because of PlayStation Plus. Yeah. Because of PlayStation Plus, I actually have, like, 20 Vita games. Um, like, and, uh, Spelunky and Rogue Legacy, the ability to play those on the, on the go, all the way in. Wait, so is the deal with PlayStation Plus that uh, games are free for a certain amount of time, and if you download them during that time, you have them forever, as long as you have PlayStation Plus? Yes. If, yes. if your PlayStation Plus subscription lapses, you don't have them anymore. So if it lapses and you renew it later, they're yeah. still gone you, forever? You, yeah, you get them. No, you, you get them back. Okay, cool, cool. Because what I thought it was for a while was that you only get to play that game for free while it's available for you. No, you you okay. well, once you claim it, you have it for all time, okay, as cool. as long as you're uh, you have a PlayStation Plus account, which I actually need to renew sometime soon. Oh yeah, and Vita TV, like I feel like there was kind of a big deal made about Vita TV. Uh, yeah, what happened like, to that? And then no one will talk about it ever again, yeah. Is, I, it, is that even out? D Derek, I think me and you only perceive it a big deal is made out of it because we saw Jeff Gershman getting excited about it. <laughs> I was excited about it, too. Like, yeah, I think like, was like... The idea of also a Steam box and stuff like that, that was, you know, was sort of a big deal when everybody was talking about the, you know, the Wii U and the PlayStation 4 when those are coming out. Um, and it seems mm -hmm. like no one's talking about them anymore. So I, I found out I can shoot these lamps and uh, and these hanging lamps and get a coin out of them. Oh, that's cool. But kind of. You also light them. That's cool. Yes, and they make a good deal more light than just the arrows by themselves. But I'm not sure where else to go. Yeah, I kind of stuck. I was kind of thinking procedural generation. You'll get just weird long dead ends. Yeah, and that's something that I think Spelunky did really well. It was it wasn't block by block procedurally generated. It was uh, chunk by chunk. Yeah, chunk by chunk. Mm -hmm. All right, I think I'm on my yeah, way. Yeah, that's how like uh, a lot of games like have to be procedurally generated, or else you'll just get like a, a completely unplayable level. Uh, you know, or I guess not necessarily because I'm sure there are like definitions to like don't place a block around the starting point so that you can't move and that sort of thing. Oh no, I'm just in the pitch yeah. pitch black right now. Oh, are you out of arrows too? Yeah, I am. Oh, oh no. no. Get some last money. Oh, there, there I go. 
All right, let, let me do one more run, and then I think we'll call it a night. All right. Because I got, I got 11 whole oh, coins man. right now. I am You flush. fell pretty far. Yeah. Oh, if I get this one, I can get plus one coins from lanterns. So I can get Ooh. two coins from each lantern. And get... I can get plus one arrow. Uh, that, that'd probably be the best one. Yeah. All right. I don't know. I feel like in, in these types of games, you want to give yourself the thing that gets you more money first. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's too late, Derek. <laughs> You're not my dad. I'm Go my, to your room. I'm my dad. You are grounded from video games. I'm the dad. Did you guys ever get grounded from video games? You're not my real Derek. <laughs> I am your father. Ian's my dad now. <laughs> no, I'm the Derek. Oh no. <laughs> Gotta love me. I'm the Derek. <laughs> Gotta love me. Remember the 90s, guys? Nah. Yeah, because you weren't I don't born even in the remember 90s. 9 11. <laughs> oh. Yo. Yo. I mean, it's true. Never forget, man. Yeah. Hey, Nick, some of us lived through 9 11. <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean, like, yeah, some of, us I, did it. Some, some of us were in high school and didn't have, like, the emotional maturity to properly process 9-11. Hey, I was in high school. I totally understood that shit. I, I was younger, and I did not. Yeah. I died again. But you got uh, some money out of that. I got 11 bucks. That's right where you were last time. Yeah, so I can get that oh, horseshoe. That a, you made a lot of money in not a lot of time. All right, Looks like we're getting double double coins from dudes you were killing. All right, one more run. That's what they all say. That's what they. Yeah. What is this Dota? Playing Dota right now? Not luckily. <laughs> hey guys, that's uh. That's, that's an inside th joke that fucking no one but me. Nope. Uh, th that's that's the new Space Money Octagon meme is saying not likely. <laughs> wait, wait, tell me. You're trying to tell me new memes? Not likely. Uh, no new memes. <laughs> no new memes. No new memes. No new memes. No Fuck a fake meme where your real name's at. <laughs> <laughs> what would even be a fake meme? Like, like, oh, you know what? It would be like a meme that a business put out to like. Oh yeah, like like a Denny company, like a Denny's meme. Yeah, yeah, but like it doesn't even fit the proper meme format. <laughs> the proper. Please divert. Like, go back to the guidelines. To Listen, the Derek. Derek, there's yeah, ru there's yeah. rules Hit to up this. The rule book. There's yeah, okay. rules to this meme shit. <laughs> I will I will have sanctions on your country if you do not get this meme proper. If you miss well, meme, is like we always do imperial meme. They all have a metric meme. <laughs> <laughs> the meme Geneva Convention. Jameem the Convention. Oh god. Hey guys, you ever heard of the famous wrestling announcer Meme Gene? No. <laughs> Nobody but you, Calvin. <laughs> That's a wrestling joke. Somewhere wrestling. to Somewhere Tobin's laughing, he doesn't know why. Somewhere, like a, <laughs> Tobin, like a chill just went up his spine. <laughs> Hank, oh, Hank Peter's, like, elbow just green. started itching. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Every time a Hank Peter scratches his elbow, a bad joke about wrestling was told. <laughs> uh, just meme, just keep thinking about meme gene. Mm, that's good. I still think the funniest thing I've ever said is every meme's a good meme. Even awful memes are good memes if you're doing it right. <laughs> oh man, we got a horrible tear doing those one night. Yeah. That sounds like shit like I wake up in the morning and I'm like, why do I even go on Twitter? Why, why do I fucking have Twitter? Yeah. Why do I know Does these the worst people? The shit is when you wake up and you're a part of it and you don't know why. <laughs> like, why was I included? Yeah. Because in you're an things. alcoholic. Oh, okay. Sorry. That's what you were saying. Okay. All right, I died again. Oh, but this time, <laughs> I've been up, Nick. <laughs> guys, guys, I got twenty cents this time. That's good. Yeah, I can get up. tough skin for some minus one damage from en enemies. Bam, make that money. All right, I think that's enough for tonight. Yeah, that that game seems really fucking cool. Yeah, that's yeah. called a roguelite. Um, let me close this again, so you can see all the games we played tonight. If you want to, let me just like go back through and link. Yeah, uh, let me make it big. If you want to go through and Google any of these, we didn't play all these. Uh, we didn't play Tripgate. We didn't play Valhalla. We didn't play Hamo. And we didn't play S, but we played all the rest. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Derek will be back in town on Monday. Yes. Um, and I think, I don't know, Derek, you, you're going to be up to do a uh, to, to do a Stop Skeletons then? Yeah, that's a holiday, so I won't even be working. So yeah. I can kind of like mosey on over. Whenever you want. Like we, we should, well, That's Labor Day, right? Labor Daber.
Labor Day. It's Labor Day. Happy, happy Labor Day. Uh, happy Labor Day. Happy Labor Day. <laughs> that's a that's a home star runner joke, by the way. I can't. Yeah. Damn it! You tricked me. Hey guys, are you gonna be doing a stream for Corn and Corn Alone Day? Sorry. Are you, are you guys gonna be doing a stream for Corn and Corn Alone Day? Like the vegetable or the band? <sighs> Wait, is corn a vegetable? God damn it! It's a starch. Yeah, it's, it was a home star runner. <laughs> Corn. Oh, oh I, mean, I, I sincerely thought you were doing some kind of corn the band joke. Because no, the, all, I'm all better these, than that, Derek. All I these just, teens are bringing back. So. All these teens are bringing back new metal, and I'm sick and tired of it. <laughs> that that was my life, and I'm sick and tired of it being made to a meme. Have you teens ever listened to to 106.5 K Well? No. Did you ever listen to 87.7 The End? No. Bob and Mark in the morning. Did you Come on. did you own a copy on CD Wait. of Nickelback's Silver Silver Side Up? No, you didn't. Wait, I, I but do you think that that Bob is the same Bob that went on to begin the the Bob FM legacy? You can Bob on these nuts. Oh, uh, thanks for joining. Us. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, we hit eight hundred subscribers on Twitch. Eight hundred. Yeah, and twenty five thousand total views. That's pretty cool. Tell your friends. Yeah, we got to get to a thousand. One K for as long as as Twitch is still alive and we're still here. Tell your friends. Yeah, we'll see what happens with um. See what happens with uh, all this Amazon talk. It, well, you, know, you just wait, and you'll only be able to watch Twitch on your Amazon Fire TV. It's all <laughs> going downhill. It's all over. It's all. It's all. Video games are over, guys. It was. It was fun. It's all it lasted. It's all about, ride. It's all about. It's all about Dungeons and Dragons now. Let's do it. Get back to the tabletop world. All right, I'm going to turn the stream off. Thanks for joining us. Come back next Monday. Uh, SpaceMoneyOctagon.com. SM Octagon on Twitter. Uh, uh, goodbye. Bye.